Yo, guys, what is up? Your boy is back. We're in the building again uh, for another one. Going back to back. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good... Collectively run, not just get into a shootout. Right. But I'm going with the I, fighting I, devil Sweeney's tonight. Y'all need to, my, 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 my answer. My answer to that would be this: <laughs> going into a game that could get propel me to the final four, I would never put any fear in my team saying, "Oh, we might not can run with them." Yeah. But you know, I, 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 I could call plays that just slow it down. But you know, but I would never say. You don't want to fight another, another person, say, another person with their say, style. Whatever. In, I would in the 2009 Final Four, we were playing Carolina. And I knew, do not run with these guys. But I was afraid to tell my team that. And we tried to run with them, and we got blown out. And I said, I'm never going to do that again. That, never again. That is a wrap for now for us. Uh, coming up, Clemson, Alabama for the second spot in the Final Four. Enjoy it, everybody.
coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Degree Ultra Clear. Non-stop white mark protection. Invesco QQQ, official ETF of the NCAA. Sweetly spiced Coca-Cola Spiced. Try it now and buy Intuit TurboTax. Make your move. We'll make them count. Hey. What's this? Coca Cola Spot. to seven and two schools with deep-seated college football traditions both trying to make history here at the greatest basketball tournament on the planet Clemson and Alabama a 4-6 matchup for a trip to the final four upset wins in the sweet 16 for both each trying to punch a first ticket to the final four in a matchup against UConn in Phoenix. With that, we welcome you. Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Anderson, along with the College Basketball Hall of Famer, Jim Jackson. We'll hear from Allie LaForce. Gene Steratore is with us. Our terrific crew here in L.A. as well. Well, Jimmy, needless to say, these two programs are looking at this game as maybe the most important game in their program history. Neither have been to the Final Four ever. They got a chance here to set us up for the matchup. Well, they do, and it's funny because opposite of Opposites track. This is the Alabama team you see by the offensive numbers. They want to shoot threes, they want to push the tempo, make or miss. They're going to force you to try to play in a style.
That's terrible. That's complete and utter bullshit. It's been muted the whole time. It's been muted the whole time. Thank you for letting me know, Torian. I've been sitting here talking the whole time. Three ball, Sears, no good. Couple bounces on the rim. That one might have been offensive interference. No wonder people weren't staying in the stream. Because they couldn't hear me. I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Just crickets through the airwaves. I fixed it, but thank you, Torian. 12-11, Clemson up. Almost called the whole first quarter, for half of the first first half with uh, no audio. It's embarrassing. Kicked out. Dropped out in the paint. Wagi. Walking down, blocked out of bounds. Thank you for letting me know, Torian. That sucked. Their stat page is a little bit slow. There it is. Shot for three. Short. Gerard can't, can't knock it down. Rebound taken by Bama. 
Worked around the horn. Sears gets rid of it. He wants it back. They don't give it to him yet. Griffin three. That's launched from way downtown. Offensive rebound. Now the ball is loose. Body's on the floor. And we got a foul. And it's going to go against Alabama. If somebody else would have gotten the chat and would have told me that the audio wasn't on. But, hey. Shit happens when you do a live show. So Diabate picks up the foul. Clemson ball, they're up by one. Hunter on the outside. Kicks it off. Inside, down low. Godfrey backing down. Hook shot, bucket and the foul. Count it. And one, baby. Let's go. Chance at a three-point play here for the Clemson Tigers, and they have the lead. Big-time move inside for the bucket. Plus the harm. Timeout on the floor. So we'll put on some background music as we uh, we enjoy the little break here in the action so far. Leading score tonight is uh, Shefflin with eight every day. I'm Shefflin, Shefflin, Shefflin. Let's go. 14 in the building. 13 likes on the board. Keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Ring that bell for more content from Fourth Quarter Sports. I apologize about the audio issues to start the stream, but we got it fixed now. It's all sorted out. And uh, we're ready to go. Let's turn up. Let's have some fun. Clemson Tigers balling right now. Up three. Still a close game, though. Anybody's game. Jeremy Plaster says, let's go, Tigers. What up, Jeremy? Welcome to the stream, man. Hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy the game, and good luck to your Tigers. Do me a massive favor. Hit the like button, dude. That would be uh, epic of you. Jeremy says, in his face. In your face. So, commercial break. We'll be right back to the action here after this. Welcome to Fourth Quarter Sports, the illest, the sickest, the dopest, and most fire live play-by-play on planet motherfucking Earth. Let's go. We had a great game and a great stream in game one of the night. Game two, March Madness continues. Chance for a trip to the Final Four on the line. Who will go and who will go home? That is the question, and we're going to find out the answer here in about another 30 one minute or so. James Ware says, let's go, Tigers. What up, James? What up, big dog? So we got some Tiger fans in the house. Let me know who you guys are rooting for. So far in our live poll, Alabama's leading 60% of the vote. What's up, man? I'm having a great night, man. I'm watching the NCAA, March Madness, hanging out with uh, great people like yourself. I can't complain, man. I'm living the dream, dude. I've been missing your show since the Chiefs won the ring. I've been on. I've been streaming every day pretty well since the Chiefs won the ring, Jeremy. You're not getting notifications? If you're not getting notifications, man, uh, go near that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and select all post notifications. I'm live pretty much every day, dude. I always got something going. Uh, but it's good to have you back, man. That was that. That Chiefs Super Bowl win, that stream was awesome, man. We had like 60-some thousand views on that. Um, you know, what, 1,000, 2,000 people watching. That was fun, man. The whole NFL playoffs was was awesome. Shout out to the Chiefs winning another ring, too. Nate Oates, Crimson Tide head coach, says we're just missing wide open layups. We're missing shots. And they got to clean up the post D and just make their layups, make their easy shots. Free throw is good for the Tigers, though. 15 to 11, Clemson. Pringle up top. Tries to get it down low to Nelson, but he gets some contact on the way to the rim. He can't get to the ball. Turnover, Alabama. Eleven thirty-five left to go here, first half. 
Gerard kicks it around. They dump it down into Hall. P.J. Hall backing down on Pringle behind the back pass. Way offline. That was terrible. That's Turnover. Terrible. Marcus Stroman, how much did you pay for that necklace? Because it's shining and glittering. Nice cutter. Stroman's got no uh, shortage of money, but he's got no shortage of ego either, Torian. I'm surprised the Yankees signed him. Nelson with the ball. High post. Drops it off. Sears for three. No good. Offensive rebound and the putback is good, though, for Pringle. It goes down. Down low to Hall. Hall going at Pringle. Pringle with the block and Nelson with the rebound. Come on, Sears. Let's see what you can do. Pringle doing it on offense. ND here over the last two possessions. Sears drives too strong with the left. It spills off the front. Godfrey up the floor. He'll drop it off the Hall. Hall swings it around. Here's Gerard. Gerard into the post. Ooh, Godfrey bucket and the foul. He's been in the weight room, baby. He's been pushing rhymes like weight. James Ware says Alabama won't be shooting threes tonight. They better play if they want to beat Beat the tiger. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Let's go. Godfrey at the line. Cash. M1. Godfrey's giving Clemson some good minutes here. Here's Estrada. Crimson Tide trying to fight back into this thing. Sears, leading scorer throughout the year for this Bama team. Spin to the rim. Pringle, no good. Hall with the rebound. He'll push it up. Chase Hunter is going to slow it down. Hunter backs it up. He's standing on the logo down near the half-court mark. Hall comes up, set a screen. He gets the ball instead. Down low, Godfrey stripped. It goes out of bounds. Still going to be Clemson basketball here with just under 10 minutes left to go in the first half. 9.46 on the clock. James Ware dropping in emojis. Hall near the top of the key. Hands it off. Kick. Pump fake. Hunter penetrates. Floats it. Rattles home. It's good. His game is good tonight. He's doing work. Inside. Shot missed by Hall. Ball kept alive by the tie, but we get a foul on the floor. It's going against Clemson. Refresh, refresh our middle screen again. It's a little bit slow acting tonight, so I'll refresh it manually. If you're in the stream, man, jump in the chat. Don't be shy. Join us. We're having fun. Let's turn off that stupid music. Inside, Sears. Denied. Block stolen away by Hunter. He's in transition. Layup. Good in the foul. Griffin is down. Grabbing onto his right leg. He ran back to try to get back in transition to break that up. He is in some pain. He just put his hand out to get helped up, and then he said no. He still remains down on his back right now. Hopefully he'll be okay. He came down full tilt, man, full throttle. Let's take a look at the landing. Yeah, kind of awkward landing, stumbling over towards near the cameraman. He fell out of frame, so I couldn't see the actual impact when he hit the ground, but he is up. And it looks like he's going to remain in the game. Alabama huddles up while he was down, trying to get an extra free little time out there without having to call one. Referee is going to bring them back out on the floor here now with 9.17 left to go. So Hunter to the line, trying to finish off the three-point play. He's slipping. He's falling. He's got to get up. Torian says he's falling and he can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. 
Well, good thing you got your medical alert bracelet on, Grandma. Free throw is good. Hunter knocks it down. Clemson Tigers by 10 here. The number six seed up on the number four seed. It's an 8-0 run. Estrada back to Sears and a whistle away from the ball. Down low as they try to keep Nelson out of the paint. It's going against Godfrey. Second personal on Godfrey tonight. Leading scorer in tonight's game so far is Shefflin with eight. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Marcus, do you be on NBA? My name's not Marcus. My name's Big Zig, dog. But yeah, I do some NBA. I do NBA pretty much every night. Kick out. Three ball. Stevenson air ball. Wow, that was ugly. That's terrible. That missed the rim by about four feet. I think I could have shot it better than that, and I'm an old man. Do I think the Warriors will make the play in? They're going to fight for it. I think they will, though. Step back. Can't get the bounce. Sears rips down the rebound. He'll turn around, reverse the court, and come up. Sears, Hezzy, hop step, stumbling, kicks to the corner, the three. Too much on it, and a whistle on the floor underneath the rim. It's going against Clemson again. I think that's on Gerard. The guard down there trying to keep Nelson off the glass. So Alabama ball. And my name's Big Zig, dog. The one and only, the big homie. You can't clone me. If you ever you guys feel lonely, this is where you can come, dude. Downtown three, short. Rebound, Shefflin. As he falls to the floor, he'll get it off to Gerard. Gerard back to Shefflin. Thinks about the three. Going to save that shot for later. Now off to the wing. Working it around the horn. Here's Clark. Clark. Down low. They bang it in. Clark. Pump fake. Goes right. Another pass. Gerard to Clark. Shoot it. Splash it. It's good for three. It's good. 26-13. Clemson doubling up Bama right now. Still time for the Crimson Tide, but they're going to make a move here. It's an 11-0 run. Estrada spinning, looking for room in the paint, and finally the Tide get one to fall to close out the run. 26-15. Gerard on the outside gets a screen. Doesn't do anything. Kick to the corner. Wiggins. Can't get it. Shefflin tips it, but it's controlled by Nelson in the Crimson Tide. Here comes Bama. Estrada on the left wing. Crossover Danson kicks it out. Nelson launches. That thing was from the NBA three-point line, and it's no good. One of five from downtown of the Tigers. One of 13 tonight for Bama from long range. You ain't going to win games shooting threes like that. If it ain't going, try something else. Derek Bowden says, let's go. Three ball no good for Gerard. Rebound collected by Estrada. He'll bring it up the right side. Go cross court to Sears. Sears, a little hezzy, little hop stead. He'll pull it back out. Clemson trying to lock down right now. Clark on him. Estrada to the corner. Stevenson, last time he shot it was an air ball. This time it's good. Four, three, bang, boom, splash. It's good. Knock it down, big fella. Knock it down. Bama needed that. And we're back now to a single-digit Clemson lead in a timeout. 26-18. Tigers. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Derek, James Ware. Torian Williams, everybody that's in here. Who else we got? We got Jeremy Plaster. Um, all you guys, man. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are new, my name is Big Zig. This is the fourth quarter sports live stream. Jump on in the chat, man. I love talking to you guys in the chat. It's one of my favorite things about this. Clemson off to a red hot start here. Uh, Crimson Tide. Bama's slipping a little bit, man. They're slipping. They're falling. They guts to get out. 
Uh, they got to figure out a way to get this offense clicking. That last three from Stevenson may help. Maybe that'll unleash the floodgates. He now has seven leading the way for Alabama. Leading the way for Clemson is Shefflin with eight. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Let's go. My voice is rough, guys. I uh, apologize. I've been sick the last few days, and we already did one game tonight. But I'm a, I'm a trooper, man. I'm going to fight through it. Your boy don't give up. He ain't no quitter. And neither are either of these teams. So uh, we'll see which one of these teams wants to turn it on and throw the next punch. Jonathan Bowen says, let's go, Bama. Roll Tide, Jonathan. Roll Tide. little bit of Red Bull. Maybe that'll give the old vocal cords some wings. Our live poll right now is deadlocked at 50-50. 50-50, man. If you guys are a fan of either Bama or Clemson, your vote could swing it in your team's favor. So make sure you guys hit that live poll up. Uh, also, hit that subscribe button, man. We're on the mission for 20,000 subscribers, and we're getting extremely close. Last time I checked, we were at 19,730. Emily says, Boo, Bama. And we're still at that number, 19,730. So uh, let's see if we can get some more subscribers up in here. Joseph Thomas says, Clemson, great defense, only allowing 18% three point shooting. They've had some, uh, Bama's had some open looks from 3 2, but they've, they've shot the ball terribly. Uh, there's you know, one I can think of right off the bat was a Stevenson shot wide open from the left corner. And he airballed that by about four feet. And that's just one example. But uh, one thing about Clemson is they do have a great defense, but Bama has a great offense. So this is going to be uh, a tale of two teams. You know, which one will, will, will come out victorious? Will it be the defensive team or the offensive team? We're going to find out. About to get back to the action, so we'll kill the background music. And uh, we'll continue on with the play call as both teams are about ready to break the huddle. The winner of this game will move on to the Final Four to, de to face the defending champion, Yukon Huskies. Starting to pick up a little bit of steam in here. We got about 48 in the building. Welcome in, everybody. If you guys were looking for the best live play-by-play, -play, you found it, so don't, don't look anymore. If you do, you're just wasting your time. Why settle for the rest when you already found the best? Clemson with it. They're working around up top. Here's Shefflin. Shefflin gets it off. Hall three. No, looked like it was good. It won't go. Rebound taken in control by Bama. Here they come. Cross court in the corner. Three ball. Estrada. Splash. Bang. Estrada got it. And don't look now, but Bama's right back into it here. Back to back threes for the Crimson Tide. Gerard to, to Hall, back to Gerard. Shefflin sets a screen. It doesn't work. They fight over the top of it. To Hall, down low. Shefflin going against Stevenson. Tries to bully him. Looks for the foul call. He can't get it. Ball is loose. It goes out of bounds. That should be Alabama ball, and it is. That should be it. Emily Tritt says Clemson. Thumbs up. Bama, thumbs down. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just relaying the message from Emily. Estrada, tough as nails, to steady waters. So we got another timeout here, 26-21, Clemson. Early on, still anybody's ball game. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream. This is your first time joining us. My name is Big Zig, and we got a great game going on here right now. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my play call. If you are, do me a great big favor. And like Emily said for Clemson with that thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys hit that thumbs up button, it'll help us get into the YouTube algorithm. Uh, it will help us get up to the top of the search rankings when it comes to people looking for streams for this game. And it'll get more people in here. And the more people we have in here, the more fun we have. It's as simple as that. Uh, you guys have all the power when it comes to that. I can be up here calling the best game uh, that's ever been called in the history of game calling. But if you guys don't hit buttons then everything I do is futile. So thank you guys for coming in, and welcome to the stream. Hopefully you guys enjoy the game. Uh, leading the way today, scoring. We'll give you guys a quick recap of who's done what so far for each team. Uh, Shiflin with eight points, four rebounds. Hunter with five, three rebounds, two assists. Uh, PJ Hall, four, one, one. 
And uh, Godfrey off the bench getting some good minutes. He has six points. And Clark off the bench with three. On the other side for Bama, seven points for Stevenson. Five points, five rebounds, two assists for Estrada. Griffin, three, three, and one. Pringle, three and three, three points, three rebounds. That is Nelson, three points and four rebounds. And Wagu with uh, two rebounds. Steady Water says, good job. Thank you very much, my man. Appreciate it. The winner takes on the Huskies. Get your whiskey ready, says Torian. <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. Appreciate you guys coming through. And if you guys don't believe me that I'm the best, uh, how about I bring in a couple of my co-hosts here to let you know just how they feel about me and what I do here. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. See? I, I'm not alone, man. Snoop Dogg and Michael Rappaport think that I'm good, so I got to be doing something right. I got to be doing something right. Thank you guys for hanging out. I think we just got another new subscriber too uh, while I was rambling on there. And we're up to 19,731. So thank you to whoever that was uh, that hit that subscribe button. Let's update that right now. There it is. It's all done. And shout out to the chat, man. Shout out to James Ware, uh, Torian Williams, Steady Waters, Emily Tritt. Uh, who else we got in that chat right now so far? Uh, we got Jeff. What up, Jeff? My man Jeff in here, Jonathan Bowen. Uh, Dick Bowden, uh, Derek Bowden. Sorry, I don't, Dick. I didn't mean to call you a Dick, dude. Um, Jeremy Plaster up in here, and everybody else, man. Thank you guys for coming in. Don't be shy, jump in that chat. Let's go back to the action here in just a moment. Bama, one of the you know, no, I think they had the best. I think they're the highest scoring team in the nation. They averaged like ninety points a game. So you got to give Clemson some credit here, holding them to only twenty-one. Uh, with 5.13 left to go. Five thirteen on the clock. First half. Still anybody's game. Bam is trying to come back. Couple threes have uh, turned the tide here, so to speak. And Bama has the ball, and here they come. Get rid of the music in the background as we get back to the action. Estrada, that's a travel. They don't call it. Took about three steps after he caught that ball. Estrada into the corner. Stevenson for three. Another one is good. And the Alabama Crimson Tide have caught fire. Apparently, I'm not the only one that can't miss. This motherfucker don't miss. It's an 11 0 run for Bama. Clemson hasn't scored in over three minutes, approaching three and a half minutes, and there's a turnover. Pringles down, and he looks hurt. Oh, no. The lob to Estrada, and he can't finish it. It spins out. He tries to lay it in with the soft touch. Pull up. Mid-range. Hunter knocks it down. 420 left to go. Let's go. Pass one to your boy if you're lighting one. Let's get it. Pringles back up. That's good news. He has the ball right now. Nice pass inside. Pringle. To Sears, and Sears lays it in. And that is his first bucket of the night. Bama right now coming alive, playing with uh, some heart here, some determination. Nearly steal that one away. And that's Hall diving on it. I think we're going to get a timeout. Timeout Clemson. Clemson by two, 28-26, and we got ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Another timeout. Talk to me in the chat, guys. I don't want to sit up here and ramble on. I'd rather talk to you guys and, you know, have a conversation, see how you guys are feeling. I want to uh, I want to pick your brains a little bit. Let me know who you guys think is going to win this game. I want to see who you guys are rooting for tonight. If you guys are rooting for Clemson, write Clemson in the chat. If you guys are rooting for Bama, write Bama in the chat. Pretty simple. I just want to see where you guys are, are rolling with. Man, rep your squad, rep your school, rep your city. Uh, just, just have some fun with this, guys. We're, we're watching basketball. It's Saturday night. Some of you guys probably have a nice frosty cold one in your hands. I'm kind of jealous of you guys for that. I don't have one right now. I'm just coming off a cold, like I said, so I'm trying to let my body recover. Uh, but probably when we get to the Final Four games, I probably will have one. And uh, it'll be a, it'll be fun for me, too, having a nice, nice cold one. Mm, that, oh, I can taste it already. I can taste it already. Jeff going for Clemson. Emily going for Clemson. Let's keep that going in the chat, guys. So far, Stevenson knocking down some threes. He has 10 points for a ba uh, for Bama, leading them back uh, back here in this comeback. He's been big. 
Uh, Shiflin with eight. I don't think many people chose these two teams to be playing tonight. I don't think they did either. They both had big upset wins uh, to get to this point, but now they have a chance to go where neither school's been before, and that's the final four. So, uh, I don't, I don't know what to say because it's gonna be really hard. You know, after tonight, you're gonna get to go play UConn, and you know UConn's the favorite, but they've already each had one big upset to get here. Maybe another one, and who knows? Maybe we'll get a get an underdog and a, maybe a Cinderella to win the uh, win the national championship this year. James Ware says. Clemson's going to win 75 to 50. Emily, you don't have to delete all your messages. It's okay. It's okay. Those thumbs up are cool in the chat. Dexter Backus, what up, dog? He says, what it do, Big Zig? I'm in the house. Like button smash. Repping Clemson, baby. boy. Dexter's turning up. I like it. I like it. Jeremy Plaster says, go Tigers. Final four bound. Tiger fans rolling here strong, man. Where, where's Bama? Where's that roll tide fan base? The tide's rolling in. They're coming back. And here we go. We are back to the broadcast. 28-26. Clemson Tigers up two. Three fifty on the clock as we're back underway. Here's Estrada. Estrada up top to Nelson. Nice screen from Sears. They kick it into the corner. Drive baseline. That's a foul on Hunter. Clemson's in the bonus, but Bama is not in the bonus yet. So side of the bounds, Alabama ball. Keep hitting that like button, guys. We're a little bit behind on our numbers because I was stupid and I was talking to myself for the first eight minutes of this stream. I forgot to – I muted my microphone. <laughs> Sears. Pump fake kicks it out. Three balls. Air ball. Two air balls and two makes today for Stevenson. It's either on the money or way off. <laughs> There's no in-between with the Stevenson kid today. Four of seventeen for three are, are the uh, are the Crimson Tide today. Those numbers are not where you want them, but they're only down by two. Shiflin inside the hall. Hall, good defense by Stevenson and Nelson. But the ball squirts loose. Two of chances at the tip, and it won't go. Nelson is down behind the play though for Bama. There's Estrada up and under. The reverse won't go. The corner Griffin for three. Griffin splashes home another Bama three, and they're in the lead by one. Let's fucking go. The great equalizer, the three ball, is fallen. Nelson back up. That's good. Three ball, no good for Gerard. Here's Sears. Sears launches. No good, and a whistle on the floor, and it's going against... Clemson again. Trying to keep Nelson and Stevenson off the glass. They, they get called again for another one. Emily Tritt says Clemson 75. 50, 600, 1,000, 12, 340, 50. That's a lot of numbers. That's like pi, 3.14. I don't know what the rest of it is because I'm not that smart of a guy, but there's a lot of numbers behind that 3.14 I know. What up, Adele? Adele is back. ACC was representing this year in the tournament, says Jeremy. Free throw hit by Nelson. First one is good. Bam, up by two. 30 to 28. 226 on the clock here in the first half. Second one won't go. It rattles out. Clemson back with it. They have a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Hall outside, hands it off to Hunter. Shiflin sets a screen. Hunter goes right. He'll shoot it. Ooh, that looked good, but it won't go down like a clogged toilet. Blocked underneath by Nelson and an offensive foul. Going against Clemson. Stevenson steps in and takes the hit. 75-60. Clemson's Azeli. 
Good job by the young freshman Stevenson stepping in just outside that restricted area and takes it square on the numbers right in the chest. Unbelievable coaching job by Nate Oates, regardless of Steady Waters. I can't disagree. When you're right, you're right, Steady Waters. Nelson and Hall both off the floor. Here's Sears. Sears cut off. Steps back. He's left open and he drains it. Four. Two. Splash, baby. We're good. Let's go. Bam on fire now. They couldn't hit a three to save their life earlier. Now they're dropping them every time I turn my head. Inside Shiflin. Shiflin into the middle. Fakes the spin. Fades away. It rattles. It falls. Every day I'm Shiflin, Shiflin, Shiflin. Let's fucking go. Kicked off. Hand off. Sears around the corner. He'll stop. Step back. Can't get this one. Fight for the rebound. And we'll have a foul on the floor against Shiflin. That looked like it might have been a jump ball. I don't know about that call. A lot of Clemson fans in the, in the stream. Where are all the Bama fans at? Get in that chat, everybody. Turn up. Bama's right now leading their live poll, so I know the Bama fans are in here, but they're quiet. Does that mean you guys are nervous? 56% of you guys are saying Bama's going to win in our live poll and move on to the final four. Shots from the line. It's Pringle. Can't get it. No good. Chase Hunter going to control it, bring it up the floor, and run the offense for the Tigers. Over to Shiflin. Shiflin. There it is. It's good. Gerard knocks that one down. Refresh our middle score sheet here, our box score. 33-32, Bama by one. Pringle to Griffin. Griffin driving, middle, stops, puts it up in traffic, and it falls. Griffin now with eight on the night. Three of five from the floor. Steady Waters says, we in here. He's representing Bama. About two seconds separate shot clock and game clock. Shot clock is down to 12. Gerard with it on the logo near center court. Drops it off. Now to Shiflin. Back to Gerard. Off the screen. Double team comes with them. Into the middle. And they don't get it off in time. It's a shot clock violation. Turnover, Clemson, Bama gets the ball back. Should be two seconds on the clock. It's showing point five right now, but the clock continued to run after the shot clock expired. So there should be about two seconds left to go. I think Alabama is going to call a timeout, try to drop a play to get a good shot here to close out the first half. Well, what a comeback, man. Bama was slipping early on. Uh, they found the range eventually from three, and that's what got them back into this thing. But you can't you can't rely on the three ball all night. You got to get into the paint. You got to score in there as well. Tigers rolling back, roaring back. Says Dexter. Brian Max says appreciate the work. Zig as a lifelong Alabama res resident, a basketball title will be nice since they have never achieved it. Been attending games in five different decades been waiting for this for a long time says steady waters so the bama fans starting to make some noise in the chat i like to see it shout out to the clemson fans as well you guys are all welcome uh it's uh it's anybody's game right now it's a war it's a slug fest i'm loving it hopefully you guys are too here we go estrada will be the inbounder way back in their own end they didn't add any more time to the clock that is ridiculous man there's two seconds difference on the shot clock why is it still saying point five Sears shoots it over the backboard, hits the shot clock, and that'll do it. It's halftime, 35-32, Alabama by three. Dyer went in the building. He says, let's go, Bama. Number four, Bama, up right now against number six, Clemson, the West Regional File, and a chance to go to the final four on the line. Stevenson leading the way. 
for the Crimson Tide with 10. I'm going to put on the game audio here for you guys a second so you guys can listen in during halftime. I'm going to take a quick break, but I will be back. If you guys want to take a break too, that's cool. Uh, go grab a drink. Go grab a snack. Uh, use the washroom, whatever it is you guys you guys got to do. I know you guys are human beings. You guys have stuff that you guys got to do too. Uh, but I will be right back, and uh, here comes some game audio for you. You might hear the commercial break, uh, but I'll be right back in not too long. Thank you guys very, very much. Grammarly is an AI writing partner set. that helps you make your point. She's got a clear shot, and it's good. Closing mode. It's a slam dunk. The meeting's canceled. They'll go home champions. Grammarly for business. Shot clock will stay. I uh, beg your pardon. The game clock will stay at point five. It's going to be Bama ball here. Coming up, AT&T at the half. EJ and the gang will have their first half analysis. Plus a look ahead to tomorrow's final two games of the Elite Eight. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Dominating performance by UConn. And now the second of our Elite Eight games here on TBS. Not a lot of time to work with here. Baseball pass and something quick. Only point five. Yep. Sears fires it. And that'll take us to the end of the first half. A surge by Alabama. They trail 26-13. They were down 13. They closed the second half on a 22-6 run as we send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, Coach, your team is shooting just 33%. That's unlikely for you, but you're up three. How'd you do it? Our defense picked up, and then our, our offensive rebounds have really saved us. You know, we're missing way too many at the rims. Uh, Sears took a little bit to get going, but our offensive rebounding and our defense has been pretty good. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Now, remember, those four early turnovers, no turnovers in the last nine minutes for Alabama. We're set up for a dandy here in Los Angeles. The SEC against the ACC, Clemson and Alabama to the studio after this. Reeves Me says getting Taco Bell during the daytime feels unethical, which is why I'm going to use the cantina chicken menu to help change his mind. The chicken's great. Well, well, well. Oh. Didn't you post this? Getting Taco Bell during the daytime feels unethical. Is it daytime or nighttime? Yes. So what do you think, Reeve? I mean, because plus the well. sun makes me think that your pants might be on fire. You get what I'm saying, right? So I'm a liar. Well, the new Cantina chicken menu isn't just for late night. Jalen, what are you wearing? What? <laughs> this is my tournament jacket. With AT&T, I can watch at home or on the go. Money. What? I'm just like Jalen. It's a vibe. I am a vibe. Connect the madness your way with AT&T 5G and home internet. They took Furiosa! Who do we have here? My childhood. My mother. He took it all from me. I want them back! Retriever online. You need a little love in your Marriage drive so far. It's okay. He, it's okay. I should have come clean. What a coward. All right, guys, I am back. Thank Just you guys for that. sitting tight while I took Can a break. Uh, we'll kill this audio during the commercial mm -hmm. break and then uh, we'll get back and listen into what the halftime crew has to say as we await the uh, second half to get started here. In California, tonight's game is at the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. First game of the night was in Boston. Saw the uh, Yukon Huskies move on to the Final Four. The winner of this one will move on to face them. Keep hitting that subscribe button. We got a few more. I got to add to our total now. We're at 19,733. So shout out to uh, the couple new people that did hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much, man. As you guys can see, we're getting really close to 20,000 subscribers. That is a huge milestone for the channel. It's a number that we never thought we'd hit here. So uh, hopefully we'll hit there within the next few days. And here comes the audio back in. Let's listen in. It changes everything. I'm going to sit here and just enjoy it with you. Jaron Stevenson and the Crimson Tide were down 13, then made a run, and they're up 
by a triple at the break. 35-32 as we welcome you to This level uh, is a game of runs. Of Alabama is a Jay team Wright, of runs. Kenny Smith, Charles Waters. Barkley. Look, uh, I can hear a coach, Jay Wright. I can hear two coaches right now looking at their guys in their locker room saying you are 20 minutes away from doing something your school has Facts. never done, and that's get to the Final Four. Facts. Does that sound like something you would say, or is that just me watching too many movies? <laughs> <laughs> no, the that's, latter. that's you watching good movies and me being out of my mind and not, <laughs> not talking about those things. I would never talk about the outcome or the result. I would always talk about the process. So 42 in the house. Let's keep be. that number but growing. To your point, I think both coaches are saying, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Because Clemson's not making threes. Get that chat rocket Games too, guys. Close, and Great Alabama time to started to get it talk going. Talk to me. Ask me any questions you want later right now in, in that half. chat. But early in the half, Clemson was doing a really good job of getting into the three-point shooter Chris? and this forcing drives. Tied. And initially, Aaron Estrada couldn't get a three. He drives it. But they were so physical at the rim, they weren't finishing. Then Mark Sears tries to go to the rim. Chest him. Hands back. Can't finish. Again, Mark Sears again. Instead started inside, hitting that three, physical, it started to open up the interior, finish, too. That's what it will do. Chase Hunter out on the break. That's how it started. But then they started drilling some threes. Yeah. And then it opened it up for, for them. The and they had to go out and chase them deeper. And then they started getting to the rim. Awesome. And the offensive rebounding oh, was big, too. That was huge. 13 of those big. coach they had. Exactly. And they only missed 26 shots. So right. they got half of their shots yes, back. Exactly. All Whoa. of that setting up a battle of wills in the second wow. half. The will to win. That was a and, big you know, one. And, and this is, to me, <laughs> new school versus old school. Woo. What is going to That'll wake you up. be the transfer race, transformation? A three-point shot. Why are they, why are they using the to wake people up and they get knocked out? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to get the easy two? Because you say, hey, if I take, oh, if I take threes and I make three out of ten, that's nine points. You got to make five out of ten twos. And what like Clemson is saying, away. we think we can make five out of ten twos. You give us four, five dribbles in the paint, six dribbles, we will score. And on the other end, again, we're going to pass up shots, pass up threes, and we're going to get into the paint. Fourth dribble, fifth dribble, sixth Clemson dribble, playing seventh dribble, ball. into the paint, we can score. But all oh, these guys in Alabama, they say if we miss the they don't quit. we're not trying to get another one. We'd rather shoot a tough three than an easy two. Bang, we see there now, from Griffin. If you go under the screen and you go drop coverage, we say, okay, Sears, drop this back. on your head. Because Whap. now <laughs> it's threes versus twos. And I just think in terms of percentages old school versus new school Brazil basketball here tonight so if you could shoot defense versus offense from two you will win this game you will win but if you don't shoot six out of ten in, in your interior play for the rest of the game 60 percent i'm still feeling in that. the paint you have Smells to shoot to wow. win this game that's a lot of math to uh, take in there chuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I don't it's not that complicated it's just basketball i think a couple <laughs> 51 in the house uh, let's go five for us chuck <laughs> well uh clemson has to understand when when you shoot jumpers on, on Alabama where they got so many offensive rebounds, you have to gain rebounds because the ball's going to bounce longer. Facts. So you have to get to everybody back to the board. That's the first thing. I think Clemson's making a mistake. I think they have such a physical advantage inside. They're doing it too much because that's not the way they normally play. They don't just walk it up and down and pound it inside. Their guards are good enough. You take a mixture. Uh, you, you, I, I think you take advantage when Alabama switches because you have a huge advantage inside, or you can get nestled in foul trouble. It has to be a mixture. Them walking yeah, you the ball mix it up, up and down you can't the let court, them just doing know what you're going to do every time you come down the floor. Inside. That's Alabama weakness. But that's not that's, that's a strength of Clemson, but that's not their only strength. You have to figure out, as a basketball team, let's just play our regular game, and then when we have an advantage, pound it inside. But our guards are good shooters. Just play the game, man. Just play the game. You've been very patient letting the game come to you now, Clark. Now <laughs> well, it's a, simple, it's a simple equation. Clemson has to keep them off the offensive glass. I mean, they got 13, yep. half of their rebounds. That Half the shots they missed, they got those. That's plus six field goal attempts. You can't afford 13 to give a team rebounds. that's shooting a high volume of threes. Clemson outscored them in the paint, shots. though, 18 to 14. It's the three ball that's kept board. Alabama if in this. If they do that, I think they're in great shape to do what they've done all tournament long, methodically win the basketball game because they've got enough balance offensively. they got to clean up that glass eating. Torian you know says, I just want a good game. I'm there with you, man. So far, it has been just that. For Alabama, it's been a great game. But Clemson's still able to win that game. Uh, we'll see uh, what happens in the final 20 minutes. And if either coach goes down that road of uh, history in the school. History you can do it like could be made. Oh, actually, not could be made. It will be made here.
in the next Shoot. little bit. We're going to mute that commercial because nobody wants to hear commercials. I know I don't. So uh, we'll take a look at the box score there in the center of your screen. Uh, Stevenson leading the way for Bama with 10, knocking down a couple threes. Uh, he made some big shots that really turned the tide and really changed this game. Got Alabama back into it. They started to find a little bit more rhythm offensively. And like I said, uh, when they were talking during the uh, during the panel there, uh, those threes have now started to open up the interior as well. And, uh, you know, you knock down shots on the outside. they got to respect shooters, and it gives you a little bit more room and freedom of space in the paint. Uh, they've taken advantage of that. Griffin with eight points as well. Uh, but only the one double-figure uh, double figure scorer is Stevenson tonight for Bama, and only one double-figure scorer tonight for Clemson as well. That's Shiflin. Uh, he has 10, seven rebounds for him. He's been big on the glass. Uh, but as a team, they have not been very good on the glass. They're getting out-rebounded here, especially offensively. Uh, Hunter has seven. He's the next leading scorer. And then Godfrey, Godfrey with some really good minutes off the bench for the Tigers. He has six. And uh, they're going to need some more bench scoring in this game if they're going to want to try to hang on here and uh, get the first ever appearance in the Final Four for their school. Uh, we'll be back to the action here in just a couple minutes. Appreciate you guys hanging out and chilling with me tonight. It's always a good time uh, when we get together here for these live streams. Uh, welcome to Fourth Quarter Sports. If you're new and you don't know who I am, my name is Big Zig. We do these streams all the time. And uh, hopefully, like DB just said in the in the chat, hopefully this will go down to the wire. He says these teams are playing uh, pretty even. I agree, but it's a, it's a game of opposites. The scoreboard's pretty close, but Clemson right now is playing in the paint for the majority, majority of their offense, and Bama right now has kind of spread the floor a little bit, and they're knocking down shots from long range. But both recipes can bake you a cake, so to speak. Let's get back to the broadcast, though, and let you guys listen in here before we get back to the action. Dominating performance after Illinois stayed close in the first half, but it was all Huskies. They got Talking it about the Huskies every and Illinois way. State Basically game. doing what they've done or since Illinois last game. year's tournament. Methodically take teams to the woodshed. I'll be right Everybody's back. I'm just going to refill my water. Never Enjoy the audio while I'm gone. Home, 77 to 52. Uh, here's a number to consider. Points in the paint in this tournament, 198 to 80 oh. in favor of... You can twist all those numbers Huskies. any direction you want. I, you really yeah, can. And they're going to all say domination. Yeah, but when you, you hear that but, one, man, it's no, like, whoa. You, you know, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. But when you put the stat up that they've led about 30 in every game. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> or they've only trailed I, I, for no, five no, minutes no, in but, 10 but, games, no, five but, seconds in 10 no, games. But when they put the stat up, they're like, they led about 30 in every game. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is yeah. total domination. Yeah, there it is. That's impressive. I don't care who you playing. You're playing a high school team, <laughs> a JV team. You to be up 30 in March Madness in every game, that's incredible. Ten straight wins by at least 13 points. So, I mean, so it seems like the common question now has been and not who's going to beat them, but who can compete with them, and how do you answer that? Yeah, they look Man, it's going to be tough. You've got to play at a standard that they've established, which is excellence, and that means you've got to be on top of your game. And Purdue has the potential. Obviously, they've got work to do against a very good Tennessee team That's going to be a really fun tomorrow. matchup if that happens. But Purdue looks to me like the team that most likely could push them if, yeah. in fact, they get to that point. I, I would. I hope both of them get there because I would that love to see that could be a crazy national matchup. championship. But game. it was interesting um, to hear Danny Hurley's wife say that he was crying today. I... I imagine that he is so mentally exhausted because their opponent now is no longer the team they're playing. It's human nature. Yeah. It's just getting complacent. It's it's giving in to selfishness, giving in to the disease of me, and he's fighting it as the head coach every day, and he's doing an amazing job. Well, Charles Barkley don't pull no punches for you. And it, that wears on you mentally but let me ask you, as a coach. You said something earlier about like once you it. get to the Final Four, it – releases the pressure. Do you think that'll be the case with Connecticut? I mean, because they were, they're probably were the only team who had to get to the Final Four for it to be a successful season. That's, that's, a, that's a great point. It's going to be a relief for everybody else, but it's not going to be a relief for Connecticut okay. because their goal is yeah. they got to win it. And I'll add and on. he's driving them to win it. For everybody I'll, else, though, it is. I agree okay. with you, Coach, and I'll add on the human nature. You're supposed to be there. You've beaten everyone by 30 or more. This whole week, everyone's patting you on your back. Can you not fall victim so to believing that you're still that good? 
and then all of a sudden you get bit. Yeah. I see no evidence of it. Yeah. 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 I see none. You better stay I focused. Have a question, you to answer your question? Yeah. The Boston Celtics. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All gas, no breaks. UConn waiting on Alabama and Clemson. Second half for a spot in the Final Four is coming up. But first, let's see what the coaches, J.B. Smoove and Kayla. Are Nobody cares what they have to the say, Ernie. We like to hear from you guys, but J.B. Smoove and Kayla? Bye-bye. I ain't listening to them. <laughs> I ain't listening to them. I'm not going to force you guys to do it either. 72 up in here. Let's go. As we get ready for the second half in this great game. Bama 35, Clemson 32. And we'll get right back to the action after this uh, this commercial break, guys. We are just about ready to get this second half going. And what do you guys think is going to happen here? Will Bama hold on to the slim lead, maybe add to it and take the win and go to their first ever Final Four? Or will Clemson go to their first ever, ever Final Four and uh, have a comeback win here on the big stage? We could go either way. I want to see your predictions in the chat. Right now, Bama is leading in our live poll, but it is close. They have 55% of the vote. Clemson right now nipping at their heels. So you guys definitely have some power. You guys can sway that live poll either way just by going up there and casting your vote right now. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Torian, uh, Torian Jared, uh, DB Cool, Sharkbait up in the building. We got some legends of the channel. Coming in, Jared the moderator, Sharkbait the channel member. Uh, we got Darwin, Jeff, Emily Trick, Chris up in here. What up, Chris? Shout out to Dexter Backus, Steady Waters. James Ware in the building. What up, James? Shout out to Adele, Jeremy Plaster. We got Jeff, my name is Jeff. Jonathan Bowen. What up, Jonathan? Who else we got? We got Derek Bowden. Derek Bowden in the building. Appreciate all you guys coming through. Sharkbait says thumbs up. We're on the camera tonight doing this NCAA. I'm starting to feel better, so I figured I'd come through and spend the night with you guys and do some do some streaming. Jared says, what up, uh, Zigster? We'll get rid of that music while I'm talking. I don't need that. Uh, what up, Zigster? Watching UFC, but I figured I'd stop by and leave you a thumbs up. Yeah, I wanted to watch some of that UFC tonight, too. My buddy Adam's a big UFC fan. He's watching it right now. Uh, once the games are over, if it's still going, I'll probably tune in myself and check out uh, some of the main events. Even though it's just uh, fight night tonight, it's still always fun to watch two grown-ass men and some grown-ass women throw punches at each other and kicks and try to take each other's heads off. Hopefully it's uh, hopefully the fights have been good so far tonight, Jared. And thank you for dropping in and giving me that like, dude. You know, you know, I appreciate that. College basketball at its finest. A trip to the Final Four on the line here tonight. Who is going to take home the W and get ready to lace them up again? And who is going to call it a season? And for some people tonight, they might be calling it a career. So there's a lot at stake. There's a lot on the line tonight. Time to go out there and pay, play your uh, best 20 minutes of your life. I need for the bottom of the ninth. This game is uh, no need for the bottom of the ninth. This game is over, says Torian. I don't know about that, dude. It's a three-point lead. I wish I was smoking what you're smoking, my man. Well, that's it pretty much for the audio, I think, unless we have one more little, uh, little clip of the crew, but I doubt it. We should be getting right back to the action here any second. Playing some tunes during the broadcast, a little Apple Music commercial. And I think we're getting ready to get back to this thing, so let's go. Who will win? If you're a Bama fan, get in the chat. If you're a Clemson fan, get in the chat and support your squad. I want to see who's representing Clemson. If you're representing Clemson, it's pretty simple. Just type in Clemson in that chat. If you guys are representing Bama, type in Bama. Or roll tide or whatever it is you guys want to want to drop in that chat. But let's get that chat rolling. Hit that like and subscribe, guys. That like button is huge. It's clutch. It's like a three ball at the buzzer in the in the in the second second half or the fourth quarter. Uh, if you guys hit that like button, it will hit that. 
YouTube algorithm. It'll trigger it, and we'll get a lot more people in here. And that's when these things become real fun is when we get a big crowd in the house. So uh, let's see if you guys can do that for me tonight, and let's get this thing to blow up. Hopefully we'll have a, a really good second half and a really good finish to this one. What is the game on, Natasha? Um, I'm pretty sure it's TBS, as it says up there on the scoreboard, right underneath where it says halftime. Stanley in the building says, Hey, Zig, were you a big fan of the comic Ziga, the newspaper growing up? No, I never heard of it in my life. Stanley's going for Clemson. Clemson's going to go on a 30-0 run, just like UConn did in that last game. I hope they don't. I hope they don't. Jarrett says, been an Alabama football fan since 06. So I'll cheer for them, but honestly, I don't care who wins college basketball. It seems like there's been some good games in the past couple of days. Yeah, there has been a lot of good games. Uh, Iowa and USC women, big wins today, says Shark Bait. Facts. LSU, I think, won today too. The Elite Eight is underway, and the winner of this one will move on to play the defending champions with a chance to go to the national championship game. Here we go. Let's get this game started, guys. Come on. I've heard enough of these these uh, talking heads rambling. Both teams are back on the floor, and here we go. We're underway. Let's go. Hunter brings it up. He'll give it off to Shiflin. They work it around the horn. Now over to Hall. Hall, top of the key. Fakes the handoff for, to Hunter. Hunter now on the wing, inside. Shiflin spins baseline, pump fake. The defense bites, he'll get it. And one count it in the foul. Let's go, baby. Clemson, another bucket in the paint. That's where they've been making their living so far today. Refresh our center screen and our ticker as we get under underway here in the second half. Shiflin now with 12, seven rebounds and a chance to make it 13 from the strike. I never, oh, Ziggy. Yeah, I've seen Ziggy. Wasn't a huge fan of it, though, not really. Chance to tie the game here from the line for Shiflin. And we are not tied. He misses the free throw, so still a one-point Bama lead. Drive. Nelson slips, falls, loses the handle, and a turnoff for Bama. Turnoff, turnover for Bama. Hunter fakes right, goes left, kicks out, three ball, short. It won't go. Offensive rebound and a putback will, though. Clark. Big rebound and the putback. And now Clemson takes a one-point lead. They beat your forever Bruins, says Sharkbait. Miguel, Clemson playing old school facts. All inside around the rim and defense. Splash for three. Let's go. Gerard, back inside, back outside to Clark, to Shiflin, now to Hunter. Hunter off his screen, foul line, Jimmy rattles around, but it won't go down. Pringle the rebound, he'll get it up the floor to Estrada. Estrada attacks the middle, kicks out, pump fake Griffin. Griffin looks back up top, he'll find Sears. Screen set on the roll, Nelson drops it off, Pringle with the dunk. Big to big pass, and this time from the Tide, they'll go inside and get one. Bama by four. Second half just getting underway, guys. If you guys are just joining us right now, we're at 30 likes. Let's get that number growing and uh, hit that like and subscribe. Three ball, bang, and it's good. It falls. Gerard for three. What it do? One point game. Penetrating. Griffin to Nelson. Back to Estrada. He'll slow it down. Back it out on the wing. Reset. Oh, what a spin. Nice pass inside. Pringle and a foul. 
and Pringle will go to the line. Looks like he might have rolled his ankle a little bit, kind of wincing a little bit. Looks like he's going to be fine, though. He's going to head to the line. Free throws coming here for Pringle. When you pop, you can't stop. Got another new subscriber. Shout out to whoever that was. Appreciate you so much. You're awesome. Free throw is good. Cha ching. The score is updating, Miguel. Forty-two thirty-nine is the score. Bama by three. Seventeen twenty left to go here. First half, only three minutes off the clock. Clark to Hall. Down low, looking for Shiflin. Ball is kicked. Twenty on the clock. Still Bama ball. Sorry, it's a Clemson ball. It's my bad. Just had a brain fart there. It is Clemson. It's Clemson ball. Hunter. Stop. Kick out. Hall. Pump fake. He finds a lane. Throws it down. That is a jackhammer, baby. He tried to tear the rim off. Gets the bench up on their feet. One point game. Hall now six points. Estrada drives baseline. He's cut off. He spins around. Gets by Clark. Outside Griffin. Griffin to Pringle. Back to Griffin. Now to Pringle. To Nelson down the baseline. Slam dunk again. Steady Waters says without Pringle, Bama would have no chance. Sharpay says, I work for Pringles as a chip stacker. I wish I could work. As a gambler and be a chip stacker. Turnover. Griffin transition. Goaltending. Bucket counts. Two points. Hunter gets to it late. It already hits the window. Cha-ching. Count it. Man. Hall. Big time finish. And he lets out a yell and a flex. Trying to get his team inspired here. In the second half, trying to get a berth into the final four for the first time in the history of the school. Daquan Miner says, Big Nelson. Nelson comes right back with a big dunk of his own on the other side. Now here comes Hunter. Hunter up the floor. He's met by Estrada. Gets it off to Hall. Hall back to Hunter. Drives three. Crimson Tide cut him off. Looks like they're in a zone down low. Godfrey, he had a decent first half off the bench with six. Hall cut off. He'll spin baseline. Gets the step, the finger roll, the bucket, and one to the line they go. Clemson refuses to go away at another new subscriber. Thank you very much. We're now up to 19,735. And we got a timeout and a trip to the line coming for Hall. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, man, the bigs are looking good. Hall's playing well. Shiflin's playing well. Shiflin with 12 points, 7 rebounds. It's been, a, it's been a fun game. The bigs for Clemson have definitely been a factor, man. They're scoring a lot of their points in the paint. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Welcome to the stream. Let's put on some background music while I shoot the shit with you guys during the uh, commercial break. Shout out to Steady Waters, the Quan Miner, Sharkbait, Miguel, Miguel Urbis, Urbis Tondo. I'm going to guess if that's your name. I might probably be way off. Shout out to Stanley Lipka. Uh, I tried my best, Miguel. I tried my best. Didn't mean to butcher your name if I did. If I got it right, I got lucky. Uh, shout out to Chris, Emily Tritt, Torian Williams, DB, Jared, uh, everybody that's in that chat tonight. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for the support. Keep hitting that like. Keep hitting that subscribe. Beat up that thumbs up. Let's go. So the second game of a doubleheader here tonight on the channel. We'll be back for the final four games as well. So 
If you guys are enjoying tonight's stream, we'll have more coming for you guys. The tournament is not over yet. And uh, we're on the quest for 20,000 subscribers. And we're growing. We just got two more. So shout out to uh, those two people as well. Two new legends. 19,737. You guys are awesome, man. I am truly blessed to be able to enjoy these games with people like you guys. Without you guys, this channel ain't shit. You guys are the lifeblood, man. You guys flow for the flow through the veins and keep this channel channel alive. My chair's squeaking. I can put some grease on that thing. Charles Hall says, "Happy Easter, fish lips." Don't call me fish lips. He calls himself a guy that calls himself the Vanilla Gorilla, calling me fish lips. But what up, Charles? Good to see you, my man. Welcome in. So commercial break here right now. Great game going on. Bama 46, Clemson 43. Uh, just under 16 minutes left to go in the second half. 15.54 on the clock. And still anybody's game. Lots of time to go here. Uh, this is a game of runs. Which team's going to go on the next big one? Will it be Bama? Will it be Clemson? Let me know your predictions in the chat. I'm going to say it's going to be... I'm going to say it's going to be Clemson. I think they're going to go on a nice run here. But I still have Bama winning the game. But Hall, right now, big dunk, a couple big buckets here, and now he's going to the line. Here again to try to complete a three-point play. Hall with eight. And why are trackers not updating? Let's refresh it. There it is. Free throw coming, and he misses it. No good. So still a three-point game. Bama up. Chance now to make this a two-possession lead for the Tide. Can they do it? Here's Sears. Sears on the wing. Up top. Pringle back to Sears. Little give and go. Step back three. Splash. It's good. Sears from downtown. Three ball, baby. And we got a six-point Bama lead. Hall down low. Feeding Godfrey. Godfrey spinning baseline. Blocked from behind by Pringle. No, 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 no. Get that weak stuff out of here. Still gonna be Crimson Tide Ball. Not Crimson, that's right. Crimson Ball. Let's get that chat going, man. We get 80 in the house. College fans are supposed to be hyper and rowdy. Working around the horn. Here is Hunter. Kicked up top. Godfrey play game. Sorry, shot clock down to one. Fade away. Oh, and it's good. At the end of the shot clock, big bucket there with time winding down. He stays composed. Ten points on the night now for P.J. Hall. Here's Estrada right wing. He messes up the pass. It's stolen. It's saved. Collision midcourt. No whistle. Clemson ball to the corner to Clark. Can't get it. And they touch it on top of the rim. It took a weird bounce. And it will be offensive interference. So it will be Bama ball. Steady Waters says Bama Bigs have stepped up big on D. That is huge. That's huge. That is huge. I have a terrible trump, so uh, <laughs> don't critique it. I know it's bad. It's going to be huge, huge. All right, it's back on. Here we go, says Torian. So Hunter goes to the bench. 2 of 12 from 3 here lately for Clemson. Can we get to 100 in the building? We're at 81. 81, can you do something for me? Griffin to Pringle and a whistle. It's a foul on Clark. We got another new sub. Welcome to the channel. Two away from 19740. Sipping on a 40. You guys want OE or Colt 45? Old English or Colt 45? 
14-29 left to go first half. Griffin inbounds. He'll find Sears. Sears gets a screen from Pringle. Dips back. Slows down. Hands off Griffin. He has an open three. A little bit too strong. Hits the far side of the rim and rims out into the corner. They recover. Here comes Clemson. Down low. Hall with it. He's been big so far in this second half for the Tigers. Down low. Godfrey. Euros. He'll lay it in. Showing off the footwork in the post. Straight bourbon, baby, says Teddy Waters. Crossover. Sears gets the step. Defense collapses. Stevenson. Bang. Three ball falls. Rips the cord. Nothing but nylon. And Bama's up by five. 52, 47, 13, 33 on the clock, second quarter. Stevenson's either air ball or nothing but net from three land from three point land tonight. Nothing in between. Hall. Bad pass turnover. He tries to say it's deflected. Nobody believes him. Then he's like, nah, okay, you got me. I tried. I tried. Another new sub? Man, you guys are awesome. 39. 39. G, 39. We're playing bingo. Off the floor, Sears is going to bark out some orders as he brings it over the half-court timeline. Shiflin goes to the scores table. He's going to check back in here in the next whistle. For Clemson, off a of foot, it goes out of bounds. Turnover, Alabama. He says, no, no, no. The refs ain't buying that one either. Clemson ball. Butterfly in the building. She says, go Tigers. Correct call off that one. Went off his own foot. Not even close to going off a, a Tiger's foot. Clemson trying to fight their way back into this thing, trying to get it back even. Still a close game. Down by five. Hunter to Gerard. Pull up mid-range. Four bounces, but it goes. Cha-ching. Cashing in. Three-point game. Three ball. Whap! Stevenson again. He's on fire. This motherfucker. Don't miss. No, he's fucking. Jaron Stevenson. 16 points on the night. Balling out in the biggest game of his life. Gerard down in the post. Shiflin with it. He has Pringle on his back. Help comes with Nelson. Kicks it out. Open three. It won't fall for the Tigers. And here comes the tide again. Pringle drops it off Estrada. Through the paint. Lefty blocked. Hunter blocks it and saves it. Gets it into Gerard. Gerard, full pace up the floor, slows it down, fades out over to the right side wing. Up top, Shiflin. Nobody picks him up. Open three, too strong. Clang. Rebound, Godfrey. He'll bully his way to the rim and get it to go down. Four point game. Dexter says the Tigers need Charles Barkley in the locker room, getting them fired up. I think he'd be more going for Bama. He is a Bama boy. Estrada going middle on a travel. Turnover taking a walk. These boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. These boots were made for walking. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Timeout 11 24 on the clock. I didn't even realize I still had the music on. You guys gonna tell me when I do that. We'll leave it on for this commercial break, but we'll turn it back off when we get back to the action. 92 in the building. One like away from 40. Shout out to the chat. Butterfly in here, the best moderator in the business. Floating around the stream again. So be on your game and mind your P's and Q's. We've had a great chat tonight, though. No issues. No trolls. Knock on wood. Uh, but we've had some great basketball fans in here. Shout out to the, the Tiger fans representing Clemson. Alabama's been in the house for sure, without a doubt. You guys know that. That is a fact. And Bama right now is starting to get a little bit more breathing room in our live poll. 60% of the vote 
is going to the Crimson Tide right now. If you guys are fans of Clemson, get in that live poll and try to swing it back in your team's direction. Keep the music music going. Uh, I'll keep it going just when we're in breaks, not when we're doing play-by-play. Sometimes it gets distracting, and I find most people do not like it. So uh, we're going to kill it when we uh, when we get back to the action. Let's refresh our box, box score and make sure that the numbers are right for you guys. There's Stevenson, man. Stevenson is hooping. Four threes tonight, 16 points. Griffin with 10. Sears with 11 now. He's starting to find his rhythm. Uh, three Bama players in double figures. We only have two Clemson players in double figures. Shiflin with 12 and 7 rebounds. And Godfrey off the bench with 10. How big has he been? Uh, you got Hall. Sorry, we got three Clemson players as well. Uh, Hall with 10 as well. So three double figure scores for both teams. But Stevenson leads the game in scoring. Darwin says he likes it. Bama is a surprise. Both these teams are a surprise, Butterfly. Uh, they both had big upset wins to be able to make it to make it this far. So a uh, chance to go to the final four. It'll be a the first time for either one of these teams. So, you know, either way, we're going to witness school history. It's just going to be, will it be Clemson or will it be Alabama? Somebody is going to uh, break that over when it comes to final fours. Thank you guys for tuning in, hanging out. If you guys are new, I'm Big Zig. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We just hit 40 likes on today's stream. Appreciate you guys. And we also just hit 19,740 subscribers. Fire. I love changing multiple digits on that sub tracker. That means we're doing work. That means we're doing work. Get in the chat, guys. Let me know who you guys are rooting for. Let's get that chat going. Hit those hearts. Hit those 100s. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, join the Noti gang. Ring, ding, dong. Ring a ding, 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 dong. Keep that bell ringing. And here we go. We're getting ready to get back to the action here in LA. Crypto.com Arena is the site for this Elite Eight matchup. Daquan going for Bama. Still 11 minutes, 22 seconds left to go as we're back underway. Worked around the outside. Here's Shiflin. Shiflin, nice pass. Gerard in the back cut. Middle again to Shiflin. He's denied at the rim. The big Stevenson and Nelson there, and the loose ball was picked up and controlled by Griffin. Here come the tide. Up by four. It's a big miss, a big stop, though, on the other side if you're looking at it as a tide fan. Clemson had a chance to get it back to a one-possession game. They fail. Here's Nelson for three. It's short. He'll get his own rebound and a foul by Shiflin, getting his arms up around the head of Nelson and giving him a whack. That's foul number three on Shiflin, and they might look at this for a flagrant. He did come across with that hand and smack him in the face. They don't, though, surprisingly. NBA, that'd be a flagrant all day. They inbound it quick. Estrada, back over to Sears. Ty trying to add to their lead here. Nelson, wide open, three. No, it won't go. Shiflin rips down the rebound. Handoff Hall. Back to Hall. Hall puts it up and a foul on Nelson. So Hall will go to the line. Chance to make this a one possession game here again if he can knock down at least one. 55 51. It's a four point Bama lead. Dexter says it feels like Bama should be up by more. The Tigers are keeping it close until they find a rhythm to take the lead. We'll see, man. This has been a, a war, man. Clemson trying to do all their work on the inside and Bama trying to do it from long range. It's, you know, it's all going to come down to who makes shots, I think. There's a missed free throw. Speaking of make shots, there's a big miss. Got to hit this one to make sure it's a one possession game. You got to try to get this down to three. Shout out to the chat, man. W chat, W. Nelson's fourth, and he's going to check out. 
Can't keep him over there too long, though. You got to have him back out here. Second free throw was good. It's a three point game. Butterfly dropping in some tiger emojis. I never got the chance to change the emojis for this game today. PJ Hall is going to check out. He's trying to get the crowd on their feet. Lots of Tiger fans in attendance tonight. Sears to Griffin. Ball knocked out of bounds. Still going to be Bama ball. Clemson doing a good job just being disruptive, though. Just trying to make everything difficult on Bama. No easy ones. Couple more subs. What it do? Thank you. Three ball Estrada. Brick. Ugly. That's terrible. Charles Barkley says, that's terrible. Godfrey. Outside, Hunter wide open. You got to hit that. Big rebound by Shiflin. Back to Hunter. This time he'll drive it and he'll be fouled. Foul going on Sears. So a three-point Bama lead. It is still Bama ball with 9.47 left to go, at least in regulation. Clemson gets it in. Outside Shiflin. Shiflin spins around. Over to Gerard. Gerard picks up his dribble. Now back to Godfrey. Dylan Hunter with it now. Kicks it. Godfrey. Four on the clock. They feed it into the post. Shiflin. Double team. Fading. Shot clock violation. Shot is blocked. Can't make it to the rim. And a turnover. Clemson. Stanley Davis, is, has any team ever went to a Final Four in basketball and football if Bama wins? I'm not sure. That's a that's something that somebody could look up, though, in the chat, Stanley. That's a W comment right there. Great comment. Appreciate you getting in the chat. Bama trying to make their first Final Four in, in school history. I'm sure there's been some, some team somewhere that's done it. Three-point Bama lead. Right now, you got to give Alabama some credit here. They're doing a good job just, just holding on to this lead. Griffin outside. Gets a nice screen. He had room, but he hesitated. No hesitation from Sears, and he knocks it down. Three ball, ice in the veins, cold-blooded. And the Tide fan, fans in attendance are on their feet. Crimson Tide says no. In the chat. Handoff. Three ball short from Gerard. Rebound picked up off the floor by Estrada. Estrada right side. Drops it back. Sears and an offensive foul as Estrada and Hunter collide. Turn over Bama. Clemson ball here. Bama, though, has opened up this lead a little bit after that Sears three. They have a two-possession lead up by six. Can't give Sears that much room, man. He's too good, and he'll make you pay for it just like he did right there. This is as big as it gets, man. This is the biggest game of these young kids' lives. Lay it all on the line right here over the next 8 minutes, 28 seconds. Leave it all on the floor. Clark to Gerard to Hall. Down low, and a foul as Shiflin goes up. He'll go to the line. Two free throws coming for Clemson. Another new subscriber, man. You guys are awesome. You guys are blessing me today. Can we get the 19,750? That'd be fire. 12 points on the night for Shiflin. Gonna refresh our ticker here again just to make sure it's still working properly. Giving you guys the right numbers. A lot of nervous faces here in the crowd. Misses the first, gets the second. One and two from the line. It's a five-point game. Come on, chat. Let's go. Support your squad, man. Rep your school. Who's going to get the W? Get loud. Get weird in that chat. It's Saturday night. This is a chance to go to the final four, baby. Nice pass underneath Pringle. 
And the foul Pringle will now make his way to the charity stripe to shoot some freebies. Foul is on Hall, and he is not happy about the call. That is his fourth foul. P.J. Hall, 11 points, four fouls, and they're going to go to a commercial break. What a fantastic game, guys. We saw a blowout in game number one today. Illinois just didn't have what it took to compete with UConn, but, hey, this has been a hell of a game, man. 58-53, just under eight minutes left to go, 759 and uh, still anybody's game. This thing's going to go down to the wire, it looks like. What up, Perdag? How you doing, my man? Welcome in. Good to see you. About 92 or so in the stream right now as we're just chilling, waiting for this game to get back underway. And uh, if you guys are here for the first time, thank you guys for coming in, man. You guys are, you guys have found the best live play-by-play -play on channel. A play, live play-by-play -play channel on YouTube. So uh, don't look anymore, man. If you don't believe me, ask Snoop Dogg. This motherfucker. Don't miss. I don't no, he's miss. fucking good. And I am good. Both those comments are 100% correct. Just chilling, vibing, hanging out with the best chat in the world. Watching some incredible athletes dueling out here. This is a war, man. This is a bloodbath. A little inside game versus an outside game. It's old school versus new school. Clemson doing the majority of their work in the paint. And... The Tide, the Crimson Tide right now doing the majority of their work from long range. Which team is going to pull out and get the W here at the end of the night and move on to their first Final Four in, in school history? Can go either way. I'm not sure. I can't call it. Maybe you guys can. I'm going to say Alabama wins. That's my prediction. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there, making a guess. I'm not a psychic. I don't work for the mob. I'm not in Vegas somewhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, you guys can drop in your predictions, too. Man, I'm getting the paces. I'm talking so much. I know most of you guys probably just prefer me to shut the hell up. 42 likes on the board, 95. Repping. You're strong in the stream tonight. You guys are incredible. Incredible. Did we just get another subscriber? We did. We did. It's raining subscribers tonight. Let's make those dollar bills fall. And a little bit of smelling salts here for the last eight of the game. <laughs> That'll do it. Eyes are watering. That means it worked. Wake up. Maybe you want to put on a little makeup. You want to do. Shut the system of it down. Wow. Dexter says, let's go Tigers. That's another foul on Hall. Free throws coming here for Pringle. 105 in the stream. They're going to leave Hall out here with four fouls. Interesting move. Like, share, subscribe, baby. Let's go. 20K says per day. We're getting there, man. A little over 250 to go. Good, like, I don't know, 600 subscribers in two weeks. Not even two weeks. A little over a week. Shot short. No good. One out of two from the line for Pringle. Man, I'm still feeling that smell. It's all hit. Woo! Clark works it around up top the hall. Now to Gerard down on the block. Shiflin back to Gerard for three. Good. Bang. Three ball. We're rolling. Three ball. Other side. Griffin. He'll knock it down. It ain't stopping, baby. No fat lady singing yet. Lizzo ain't out there on the court. Let's go. I'm straight, Darwin. I'm straight. Downtown, three ball, Gerard, and another one. Where's DJ Khaled when you need him? Another one. Crossover, kick Sears to Estrada, to the corner, to Stevenson. Bang! It's raining. It is raining. I know we're in California. It's L.A. I didn't think it rained in L.A., but it is raining right now inside Crypto. 
Good God. The floodgates have opened. Who's UConn play next, John? They play the winner of this game, 65-59 right now for Bama. Hunter to Shiflin to Gerard. Back to Shiflin. He'll step into it. He wants into the act. It won't go. Rebound to Strada. He'll look up the floor, take it up the left side into the corner. Pump fake Griffin. He'll drive the baseline. Outside Sears from the logo. Bang! What is going on here? The Tide fans are on their feet, and the lead is up to nine for Bama. Time out. Clemson. Alabama has exploded from downtown. Good God. Wow, it's three after three after three after three. It's been cash money from long range. Both teams fighting. But the Tide right now gaining up by nine. Dexter says this sucks. Crimson Tide says wow. Wow is the word. Just like the bird is the word, wow is the word. <laughs> This is unbelievable, man. What a push. What a push here from uh, from, from Bama. I like to watch live on TV, but Zig is entertaining, so I put this stream on too, says Perdag. Thank you very much, Perdag. Appreciate that. Shout out to the chat. Perdag, Butterfly, Crimson Tide, Dexter Backus, John Liu, Darwin in the building. Who else we got up in here? We got uh, Stanley Davis, Daquan Miner up in the building, Steady Waters, Charles Hall. Sharkbait in the building, Miguel, Stanley Lipka, Chris, Torian Williams, Jared TG, Natasha Howard, all you guys in the chat, man, you guys are awesome, man, this is a W chat, W chat, you guys are awesome, John Lewis says, thanks, either team make it, it will be a dogfight, I don't think so, man, I, all, the, all the credit in the world to these two teams, but UConn looks damn fucking good right now. They win games by 30. They haven't had a close game yet in this tournament. And they just got out of the Elite Eight. That's that's showing something right now. That UConn team's on a different level, but but if they don't keep their foot on the gas, they could get upset too. But it looks like their head's in the game. They're defending champions. They want to go back to back. It looks like they're on a mission, but they got to be all gas, no breaks. Dexter says, shout out to all the legends in the chat. Facts. Without a doubt, Torian St. Alabama with some face like that. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Almost to 50 likes. 42 likes on the board. Let's make it 50. About to get back to the action. I need a breather after that, man. That was just bombarded, man. That was a blitz, blitzkrieg of threes. It was shock and awe right there. It was three after three after three after three. It was an onslaught. So fun, though, man. Three ball is exciting. You know, that's how the game has changed. It used to be all about the high flying and the dunks. Don't get me wrong. Dunks are awesome, but three balls, just they can change the game so fast. Here we go. We're back to it. And now we got maybe a technical. They're going to play under review here. Gerard knocking down, who was it? Was it Griffin? Minor contact, so no technical. Nothing played, maybe a little bit of embellishment, embellishment by Griffin. Here we go, here's Hunter. Hunter up top, hands off to Hall. Back to Gerard, back to Hall. He's all alone, all day, all night. Three ball, whap, nothing but nylon, baby. And Clemson refuses to go away. Wow. 122 in the house. And you guys came at the right time because this is a fire basketball game. It's unbelievable. Ziggy Ziggy's calls. Ziggy Ziggy Ziggy's calls. Ziggy Ziggy Ziggy's calls are the illest. Here is Sears. Sears gets the screen. Gets the switch, jacks it up, late shot clock, and a shot clock violation, turnover Bama. It goes back to Clemson. Six-point Bama lead. 
Dodger game is on rain delay. Looks like a long, rainy night, says Butterfly. Well, welcome in to everybody that was enjoying that Dodger game tonight. We got another new subscriber. Shout out to whoever that was. You jump in the chat and say hello. Tell me it was you. I'll give you a shout out. Ooh, I wish it was that many. I just hit the wrong button. Uh, there's the real number, 19,745. Pump fake. Hall driving. Tough play in the paint. Good defense and a foul on the floor going against Bama. It's on Pringle. This is a battle, man. This is intense. Both these teams trying to be the first time for their schools to get to the Final Four. Pamela Smith says, Final Four bound. Which team, Pamela? Faze Mays says, if Bama wins, they'll be in the semifinals. No matter who wins, you're going to the Final Four, dog. Della Moore says, UConn plays the winner. Bama Clemson. UConn definitely plays the winner. Yeah, and they look damn good, man. 30-point win after 30-point win. They've been impressive. We did that game right before this one, actually. Griffin into the corner. Sears open. Bang! Sears for free. He has come alive. Three balls, man. They keep falling from the sky. Now here's Hunter. He gives it to Shefflin. Shefflin hands it off. Gerard with it. He picks up his dribble. Gives it back to Hunter now. Hunter down low. Shiflin bullies. Blocking foul in the bucket. Shiflin to the line with a chance for an and one. Griffin hit the deck trying to draw the foul call. Shiflin stays up strong and knocks it down. I think maybe, maybe he was trying to pull the chair out. But Shiflin hit him in the chest. Stayed on balance and got the shot to fall. What a crazy game. Yo, my cousin is on that Bama bench. Coaching staff says that MMP. Shout out to your cousin, dog. 71-64 Bama. Estrada outside gets the switch. He's going against Godfrey in the middle. Fakes the spin. Now spins around. Kicks it back out to Sears. Sears going right. Between the legs. Hezzy, corner, gets it back. He'll drive baseline, lose the handle. Ball is loosed. Grabbed by Estrada. He'll float it up. No good at the shot clock. Rebound Pringle and a foul. Pringle to the line. That is determination, folks. That is going the extra mile. Not giving up on the play. Shout out to Bama right there. They just went bulldog mode. Dexter says this is a war of attrition. Time is starting to wind down, though. If you're Clemson, you got to start battling and get back into this, into this thing. That was a great display right there, though, by Bama, man. That showed a lot of heart. That showed me that they really want this game. Hit that like button, guys. We got 143 in here, only 45 likes. What's the fucking deal with that? Free throw good for Pringle. 72-64, lead at 8. Shout out to the chat, man. W chat today, man. You guys have been incredible. You guys have been fucking awesome. Let's go. MMP says Bama's is going to take them out just like UNC. Well, Bama's is a favorite in this one. But a win's a win. Pringle, another free throw, and it's good. Nine point Alabama lead. Hall in foul trouble with four. Clark with three, and Godfrey with three. For Clemson. They have the ball right now. Gerard cut off at the elbow. Drops it inside. Hall with it. Back out. Swing. Hall. Hunter three. Bang. Boom. Whap. Splash. It's good. Four. Three. What it do. Let's go. Clemson refuses to go away. Three ball. Sears, no. Tip in. Yes, it's good. And one. Pringle gets the bucket on the tip and the foul. He's head to the line in search of another three-point play. The hustle plays, man. 
the hustle plays. That's what's separating this game right now. Bama is just going the extra mile. They're doing the dirty work. They put their work boots on. They strapped on the hard hat. They are ready to go to work, and, man, they are doing a hell of a job. Hell of a job right now just growing this lead and trying to expand this thing, give themselves some breathing room. Another timeout on the floor. A free throw for Pringle when we get back. 75-67 Alabama out in front. What it do. What a game. This is uh, this is fire. This is a way better game than the first game. Nothing against UConn, but that was a blowout. It's so much funner watching these close games, especially when it has as much on the line as this one. Both these teams trying to go to the Final Four for the first time in school history. Um, you know, you're going up to play against the defending champs if you get this done. Uh, just absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Bama right now just playing like their life depends on it, and it's working. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell as well. Uh, turn on that notification bell. Make sure you guys get notified when we do go live again for uh, for that those final four games. And uh, this tournament's winding down, guys. Only got three games left in the tournament, and it's all done after this one. So uh, beat that bell up. We also do NBA content, NFL content. Uh, we always got something popping. So uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. My name is Big Zig, the illest, sickest, dopest host in the building. The big homie, the one and only. You cannot clone, him, clone me, but if you ever get lonely, right here is the place to be. Shout out to Brian Mack, Butterfly Perdag, MMP, Dexter Backus. Jeff in the chat, everybody over there. Who else we got? We got Pamela Smith, Crimson Tide, Pradag, Della Moore, Faze, Mays in the building. Shout out to John Liu. Uh, everybody. Who else? We got Darwin in the building. What up, Darwin? Stanley Davis. All kinds of awesome people in the chat today. Who else? We got Chris, Emily Tritt, Steady Waters, Jared TG, Sharkbait, Stanley Lipka, Miguel, Charles Hall in the building. Let's go. Let's go. This is how you finish off a night of live streaming and a night of hoops. Spectacular game. This tournament has been really fun. This tournament's always fun, Jeff. It's always fun. That is uh, that is why March is such a good time of year. You got the NBA, you know, gearing up for the playoffs. You got March Madness. You got baseball coming back. Uh, it's a great time to be a sports fan right now. Come on, guys. We got 161 in here. We only got 48 likes. Wake up. Hit that fucking like button. I know you guys are enjoying it. You're in here. So show me some love. I'm up here giving you guys a great show. I'm going to have no voice tomorrow. Just coming off being sick two, day, two days ago. And uh, let me know you appreciate me doing this for you. So the Brian Mack. So I'm 53, understandable. Della Moore in the building. P.J. Hall is fouled out with 14 points. It's a big loss for Clemson. Here is Pringle at the line. It's good. He'll knock it down. Hall shaking his head, cursing to himself. He wants to be out there down the stretch here to help his team, but he's not going to be able to do that. Here's Clark. Clark. Shiflin. Shiflin to Gerard. Gerard turns the corner in the paint. He'll draw the D. Back outside Clark. Back outside now to Hunter. 14 on the shot clock. Still plenty of time. He'll back it up. Hunter dropping it inside. Shifling against Pringle. He'll step away. And he'll step through. Bucket and the foul. Clemson not quitting. Seven point game and a chance to make it a six point game from the line. This is a big free throw here. You got to get it down to two possessions. Marcus Aurelius says, let's freaking go. I'm with you, dog. I'm with you. Get some more likes. Appreciate it, guys. Keep that like number coming. The stream will fill up. Free throw is good for Shiflin. Six-point gain, 303 on the clock. Whew. Nelson with four fouls. Pringle with three for Bam. Have something to keep an eye on here over the next 250. Nelson with it. He moves Pringle out of the paint. He wants to go inside. Oh, he sees Pringle. And now a foul on Shiflin. Pringle back to the charity stripe again. More free throws coming. 
Pringle having a big time game. Big time game. Those likes up. Get those subscriber numbers up. We're trying to get to uh, 20K. We're 255 away from 20,000. That's nuts. You guys can really help the channel out tonight. We just hit 5 million views on the channel yesterday. I'm going to make a post about that uh, later on to the community post to say thank you to everybody. Chris says, time for Sears to step up. Good job, Big Zig. Thank you very much, Chris. Clutch free throws. Misses them both. Six-point game. That's terrible. Charles Barkley doesn't like that. Happy Easter, everybody, for real. Godfrey to Shiflin. The Hunter step back. Defender flies by. Drops it into the paint. Shiflin splitting. Nothing there. Good defense by Pringle. Back out to Gerard. Shot clock down to six. He'll let it fly, and it's good. Three ball, Gerard, and it's a three-point game with 2.07 on the clock, and he's pumped up. Let's go. Let's go. Two minutes to go. Sears to Estrada to Griffin. He thinks about it inside Pringle. Bucket and another foul. Pringle is going beast mode. The Alabama bench loving the effort from Pringle. My man is gone full ass bulldog right now. Craziness, man. What a game. Pringle going off. Just every time he's in the paint, it's and one, and one, and one again. 54% from the line, but he does hit the free throw. That's a big free throw. That's a big make. Six-point game. Two-possession lead. Under two minutes on the clock. Here is Shiflin. Shiflin slips, falls, and timeout Clemson. That could have been disaster if they would have got tied up there. Even a jump ball could have been bad. Good timeout call there from the bench. Who's going to win? The Tigers or the Crimson Tide? Let me know in the chat. It's too close to call right now. So far, Alabama, 67% of the vote in our live poll. They are running away with it, but they are not running away with this game. They do lead by six with 143 left to go. Still Clemson ball. Timeout on the floor. Woo! I don't know what to say, man. This is unbelievable. Sears with 20 points. He was quiet in the first half, too. He's came alive hitting threes in the second. Stevenson with 19. Pringle with 16 and 11 now. Griffin with 13. Great game from the Bama squad. Great game from the Clemson squad as well. Both these teams deserving. We'll see which one punches their ticket. Shiflin with 18 and 11. Big double-double for him. Gerard, 16. 10 for Godfrey off the bench. 10 for Hunter. 14 for Hall, but he's fouled out of the game. He is done for the night. This thing can go either way. Who wins? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, guys. We get 180 in the building. Let's get 100 likes. We get 100 likes, I'll give away a channel membership right now. We got 180 of you guys in here. That's only a fraction of you guys got to hit that thing. But everybody smash it right now and let's break that YouTube algorithm. Put you just put YouTube on notice that we got a fire game going on here right now in this live stream. They break the huddle. We're about to get back to it. It's not that active per day, but it is nice to see it moving. 186 up in here. Keep those likes coming, man. Let's go. Beat it up. Pretend it's your high school bully or your worst enemy and punch that. Fucking subscribe or like button right in the nose. Nice move. Clark steps through. Scoop shot. Good. Fall into the floor. He gets it to go. Four point Bama lead. Still a two possession game. Sears has the ball here with 127 on the clock. He's going to slow it down. 
Don't slow it down too much, man. You might need this time. Coming up late. Sears crossover. Step back three. Boom, Sears. And that is a dagger, ladies and gentlemen. That is a big shot. And there's big shot Bob Robert Ory in the crowd. And he is giving a round of applause. Just like Paul George there on your screen. Let's go. Big time shot for Sears. Gerard the Hunter to Shiflin. Shiflin, his pass nearly stolen away. It's tipped, but it goes back to Hunter. Hunter from NBA three. No good. Rebound, Nelson. He rips it away. It's stolen away from him by Godfrey, and he'll put it up and in. Bully ball. Whoo! Godfrey says, nah, -uh, that's mine. Give me that. Five-point game. 82-77, under a minute on the clock, 43 seconds to be exact. Sears cut off near half court. Stolen, turnover, and a foul on Sears. Sears and Pringle yelling at each other. Uh-oh, is this falling apart for Bama? 200 in the building. Beat up that like button. What are you guys waiting for? We got another new subscriber. We're up to 19,746. Let's get to 19,750. That was the goal to start the game. Let's hit it. Man, that was a great play by Godfrey. Not giving up on that rebound. Ripping it away. And now a steal off a bad pass from Pringle. Trying to give it back to Sears. Clark steals it away. And we got a foul. And that means two shots coming here for the Clemson Tigers. Man. Clark misses. Oh, it's a backbreaker, man. It's a backbreaker. They gave you a chance. Two hundred rolling in the stream right now. Let's go. Another new subscriber. We're up to nineteen thousand seven forty-seven. Seven forty-seven. About to take off just like a jet, and he fucking missed them both. That's complete and utter bullshit. And a rebound for Bama. That is bullshit. That's that is terrible. terrible. That is That's complete ugly. and utter bullshit. It looks like we might get Bama and UConn in the next round. Will Bama be able to hold on here? 35 seconds. Everything's in their favor unless the basketball gods say no. Free throws coming. For Aaron Estrada. He shoots 85% from the line this year. First one is good. And that makes it a five point game. And that all but seals it, really. Welcome to the stream, guys. If you guys are new, I'm Big Zig. We do these streams all the time. We'll be live for the next round as well. All the way to the championship game. Gets them both. Estrada. Ice in his veins, man. He's cold blooded, so cold. He's got the shivers. Teeth are chattering. Hunter right down Main Street, though, with a dunk, and it's a five-point game with 30.8. Now we're going to get some fouls. We're going to get some stoppages and some free throws, I imagine. This game's about to get real ugly and real muddy. Bama has never been here before. Neither of these teams have, Marcus, but it looks like it might be the Crimson Tide going to the Final Four. Unbelievable. Free throws. Missed shots, Hall leaving the game, fouling out. All played a factor in this for Clemson. And then big time shot making. Pringle was unbelievable today. Second chances in the paint. Uh, you know, just going up strong and ones in this second half, man. He really changed, changed this game, man. He was just so good down low. Physical, aggressive, not giving up on plays. Going up strong and finishing, man. My man has been in the weight room because he's been able to muscle up through some heavy contact. Butterfly says Bama came out the woodworks and now they're headed to the final four. 188 repping the stream right now strong. Timeout. Estrada can't get it in. He doesn't want to take the uh, get the violation, so we'll call timeout. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? This has been an unbelievable game. 
an unbelievable stream. A W to the chat today, man. You guys have been awesome. Shout out to the mods, uh, the new subscribers, the old subscribers, the channel members. Uh, shout out to the haters. Everybody hiding hiding in the in the wings, not in the chat. Everybody just in here enjoying the stream, enjoying the game. Uh, W's to you guys. You guys are awesome. Crimson Blood 334 says roll tide baby. Hey man, it's almost time to celebrate, Crimson. It's almost time to celebrate. What a game. This has been so much fun to call, man. I'm actually sweating up here just from talking to you guys. That's how crazy this game is, man. It's got my blood pressure up. It's got another new subscriber, so shout out to you guys, whoever that was. Hit that subscribe button. We need two more to hit our goal tonight. Let's see if we'll do it. 19,748. 252 away from 20K. Butterfly says the chat is amazing. John Lewis says the Tigers are rolling and roaring. I will be roaring against UConn. I doubt it. There's a foul right away. So it should be Nelson going to the line here for Bama. So Nelson to the line for Alabama trying to put this thing away. One foe says two possessions. 80% from the line is Grant Nelson this year. He's 2 of 3 tonight. Hit that like button, guys. Let's get that thing soaring. We got 200 in here, only 62 likes. It's weak. Free throw good. Nelson knocks down the first. There we go. We just hit that 50. 19,750. 250 away from 20K. Unbelievable. Good luck, Bama, against UConn, says Miguel. 29 and a half seconds left. Second free throw. About to leave the hands of Nelson, and it's good as well. Seven-point Bama lead. That's a three-possession game, man. It's over. It's over. For all intents and purposes, it's over. Unless we get an absolute miracle here. Who knows? Outside. Three ball. No good. Tip in. No, and that should do it. Estrada gets it. He's fouled, and Estrada will go to the line with 16.9. And now the Bama bench is starting to celebrate. It's a seven-point game. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a Bama fan, celebrate, baby. Sing from the rooftops. Roll, Tide, roll, baby. Yes, sir. 85% from the line, and here comes Estrada. Let's turn up, everybody. Get wild. Get crazy. Alabama. Oh, he missed it. I hit that cash register sign a little early. He did miss that one. That surprised me. It bounced around on the rim and fell out. Time to celebrate, man. Alabama going to the Final Four for the first time in school history. Second free throw. That's money. That's money. Clap your hands. Thumbs up. Let's go. Pump fake, Hunter, top of the top of the backboard, off the shot clock, and it will be Bama ball. Rammer jammer says Crimson Blood. Marcus Aurelius says roll tide, roll the damn tide. Jeff says, "Come on, Clemson, it's over, Jeff. <laughs> Clemson's done, son." Isaiah Thomas says, "Roll tide, roll tide, Alabama won." Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. There's some white boy moves for you. Isaiah dropping in the dynamite. 12.5 seconds left before Alabama can celebrate going to the final four for the first time in school history. Another new subscriber. Thank you very much. We're up to 19,751. Drive Nelson. Stolen. Outside three. Gerard. Good. He hits it with 4.3. It's a five-point game. Stretch pass. Estrada lays it in, and it's over, ladies and gentlemen. 1.9 on the clock. And Clemson will let the time expire, and the, and the tide explode off the bench. It's celebrating. They grab history. They snatched it away from Clemson. And they are going to the final fucking four. Let's go.
Roll Tide for Life, says Michael. First Final Four appearance in school history for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Live it up. Celebrate it. It's been a long time coming. Let's go. It's a party over here, baby. It's a party over here. Let's crank up some background music and really get it turned up in here. Let's go. Thank you to everybody that has been in this stream from start to finish. Uh, man, it's been funny. Archangel Music coming in trying to spoil the party, but I'm not even going to read that comment right now, Archangel, because we got to let the Bama fans have their moment. It's the first time that they've made it this far in the tournament, and uh, let's, not, let's not be Debbie Downers tonight. Marcus says, thanks for streaming. We'll be back again for that game, UConn and Alabama. The final four, and we'll have the national championship game for you live on the channel as well. Appreciate everybody coming through, hanging out. It's been a special day. It's been a special day in the world of sports, and it's been fun. Alabama will go to the final four. Some love. Alabama to the final four. Let's go. We need a couple exclamation points on that because this is huge. This is huge. They are celebrating right now, but the job's not done. Still work left to do. You got the best team in the country right now. The Yukon Huskies waiting for you in round in the next round. And here we go. Thank you guys. That's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna jump off this stream. Uh, you guys are awesome. Like, subscribe on your way out the door. Big Zig is out. I'll see you for the next one. Deuces. Peace.
Anderson telling you everything you need to know about what Alabama was able to do tonight against Clemson. One half of our final four bracket is set with the Tide defeating Clemson and joining the defending national champs next weekend in Phoenix. Welcome back to our New York studio, everybody. It's Inside March Madness presented by Buick Ernie Johnson, Clark Kellogg, Jay Wright, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. Let's get right into the highlights. If you just are happening to join us now uh, and missed this, it was uh, it was as good as we thought it would be as Clemson took on Alabama, team that's been so good uh, defensively in Clemson. Could that hold up against a Crimson Tide team that uh, just they, they will light it up. They will. They will score 90 on you in a heartbeat, and they scored 89 tonight, Coach. And they're never gonna, they're never gonna stop shooting, man. Yeah. With, they, they started off rough, yep. and it was really important with about um, 7:59 to go in the game. PJ Hall got his third foul, his, his fourth foul. They went to the zone. That zone won the Arizona game for us. Yeah. But when they went zone, Alabama lit it up. And yeah. then once they started making them, there was no stopping them. Yeah, uh, they played fantastic. Sears bought them home. The key to the game you're was... Not gonna, you're not going to say it? Uh, you're not going to say it? I want to congratulate <laughs> Alabama <laughs> University. No, University, that's University of Alabama. You have to, uh, it's, it's something, a... roll something you have to say. <laughs> roll time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a good sport. Uh, hey, got to say it. Uh, you know, Sears is going to get all the love. But Pringle was the difference in the game. His offensive rebounding, the three-point plays, that was the difference in the game. Obviously, Mr. Sears was fantastic, but Pringle, he was the MVP of this game on the offensive end, finished around the basket. This is a great win. Uh, congratulations to those guys. You can't be a hater uh, in sports. You got to always be a gracious thing. Like I say, I'm an Auburn diehard guy, but Alabama, they played fantastic. And to pick it back on Jay Point, Man, when those boys shooting that thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can play with anybody. And they, you know, they wasn't making them in the first half. In the second half, they start shooting that thing, and the rest is history. 10 for 15, Chuck. 10 for 15. the three-point line. That's amazing. In the second half. And Mark wow. and um, Sears was 6 of 7 and scored 18 yeah. of his 23 in the second half. But your point is well made. Certainly Pringle was a factor on the offensive glass. He was the difference. But also Jaron Stevenson. Yeah, yeah. He made five threes as well. But yeah. those two guys were terrific yeah. in addition to what Sears Because what, what Pringle did, 
those offensive rebounds, and he kept he got those guys in foul trouble. Yes, there you that, go. That was that was Big probably deal. the biggest deal. Yep. Yeah. And, and then Clemson's inability, the number one free throw shooting team in the country. Late. In the tournament. In the, the, tournament. the, tournament. Yeah, the tournament. He could yeah. not make any tonight. No, they only tough. shot eight of, um, I 16. think, eight of 16. Yeah. 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 You know, tonight. to me, I, I thought it, at halftime it was going to be simple math. You get 30 yeah, points. Yeah, you broke it down. Yeah, you, you get broke 30 down. points from the three-point line. Yeah. You get 30, you, you make 10 threes. So, for me, who at Clemson, who was, you know, only eight for six, uh, I'm sorry, they were only eight for 26 from the three-point line, so they were going two-point game. Yeah. So, to get 30 points... You know, from three, you got to make 20 baskets. And, you know, they just could not. They could or you've not got to make a few more threes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the other you have to get, part you got over yeah. 20 baskets. But when a team goes 10 for 15, yeah. that's, a, that's, just lights shake, out. that's just yeah. lights out. Yeah. Now, I, I don't 15, need, 10 for 15, yes. It's crazy. However, there was, when we all sat here, was there one three that went in that you went, oh, I didn't think that would go. No, no, they were quality. Yeah. Oh, no, they were quality. quality through. And Clemson got some good looks, too. Yeah. They did knock down. But 10 well. for 15, you're going to win yeah. most games. You go 10 And then 15. you plus seven from the foul line, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you win the freeze and threes game and the rebounding game. Yes. You're going to the victory circle. You got to get 30. You got to get 30 points. I mean, at 30. You got to give Nato credit on and that because that's their philosophy. Every basket they had was either a foul shot, a three, heavy. or at the rim. Heavy so on the analytics. Low mid-range. Yeah, right. Right. And that's his, that's his analytic philosophy. Yeah, and you talked about the battle of wills as we spoke at halftime. And, and one of those things, we talked about it before the game even started. Clemson had allowed 14 threes made in three games. Yeah. Alabama goes 16 tonight against Clemson, and they, and they make their way to the Final Four. And now it, it takes more, presented by Powerade. And the Crimson Tide certainly got more out of Mark Sears, who hit seven threes and scored a game-high 23 points after being held scoreless for the first 15 minutes of the game. So he gets the uh, Powerade Award. Meantime, Clemson on the losing end of this one against Alabama and a short time ago, Allie LaForce with Clemson head coach Brad Bernal. Well, Coach, what do you believe was the difference down the stretch? Uh, shot making and rebounding. Uh, we talked a lot about rebounding. I'm disappointed there that uh, we didn't do a better job. It's been a little bit of a problem for us in the tournament. Uh, but I'm so proud of our players. Um, the run they took us on here has been phenomenal. I've just got an unbelievable group of kids. And um, give credit to Alabama. Their, their shot making in the second half was uh, impressive. Without revealing too much of the intimate moment that you had with them, and deservingly so, what do you want these players to know that you will remember about them? Yeah, just how coachable they were. Um, how much I'm going to miss them, how much I love them. And, Appreciate what they do for us and the joy that they took our fan base on his last two weeks is uh, it's been fun and uh, certainly memorable for me. And I told them to be something they remember for the rest of their lives. It was an honor watching this run. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank we you appreciate very much. it. Thanks, Allie. So Brad Brunell and uh, the Clemson Tigers falling 89 to 82. When we come back here on Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, we will show you how the East was won. Keep it right here. Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, is sponsored by Marriott Bonvoy. Over 30 hotel brands for every kind of fan. Thank you. 
And it was untied with a 30 to nothing hot streak by the Huskies. 30 zip blitzkrieg by the Huskies. Illinois missed a few good shots, didn't get many good ones. And this big fella led the way. 22 points for him. He also had 10 boards and several blocks, but it was all Huskies. Just put the hammer down. Illinois couldn't make a shot. Ball movement, excellent passing. UConn doing what they do, commanding and dominating performance. I, I don't know if I've ever heard of a 30-zip run before. If you have heard of it, it hadn't. you haven't heard it much. <laughs> <laughs> they went on a 30s old and run. A, not in a Final Eight game. Not right. in a Final exactly. Eight game. That was, uh, you know, Ernie, that was impressive. You know, because we talked about it at halftime, me and Kenny. Illinois played a... Decent first half. And, and as you pointed out, they could have had the lead. Should have had the yeah, lead. They, they missed, missed a lot of layups. They missed a lot of layups, but because Clink, them, he, man, he, they, they be looking for him. <laughs> and they missed so many layups, and then the second half was total, total domination. You know what the funny thing is? Like a 30 to old run. You funny can, for who? Yeah. It wasn't funny for Illinois. <laughs> Most interesting thing. Huh? Yeah, there you go. Uh, when a 30 to old run you would say, man, they just scored the ball. But the most impressive part of it was the shutting off the water. Definitely. Not being, Definitely. Not being able to get a, a good look Definitely. offensively for Illinois. And the defense of, of UConn probably yeah. was more impressive. Because mm. sometimes you see a 30-year-old running, guys are just hitting threes from all over the yeah. place, mm. falling yeah. out of balance. No, no, this was like, no, we're going to shut your lights off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, and we're going to see what happens. Jay, as a championship coach, as you are, you look for certain traits in championship teams. What do you see in UConn? The, the relentless competitiveness. They yeah. don't play the score. To Kenny's point, they, it wasn't like they were making shots and they were getting excited because they were making shots. They just kept getting stop after stop. That was the number one offense in the country. They held to 52 points. And, the, and every game they've played that has been a 30-point game, no matter what their lead is going down the stretch, they never stop defending. They never stop rebounding. They never stop diving for loose balls. The relentless, relentless competitiveness, yeah. regardless of score, is incredibly impressive. A team that was shooting 52% at that, and they, and they shoot 25% against UConn. And, you know, UConn's defense is elite, and it was again tonight. Illinois missed some open shots that you have to make if you're going to have any chance. They didn't just keep them from getting any good shots. But well, the few did, they got... Did, did Klingon have something to do with that, even the ones I, they missed? I think he certainly did. And some of the strategy of trying to attack That's, him, right looking at him and going into his chest when he can just... Side make sure to silence your cell phones. Please make sure to state your name and media affiliation each time you do ask a question. We've got mic holders in the room. Please wait for them to get a mic over to you before asking that question. For those of us joining on Zoom, please make sure to use the raise hand function to ask a question, and we're going to address uh, questions here in the room first before we get over to Zoom, if time allows. And then one final reminder, recording of the press conferences on cell phones and cameras is prohibited. All right, we have Clemson head coach Brad Brownell, along with student athletes Joseph Gerard III, Chase Hunter, and P.J. Hall. Coach Brownell will begin with the opening statement from you and then open it up for questions first for the student athletes. Yeah, first off, just what a basketball game. Um, Fans were treated to some high-level play, especially in the, in the second half. The shot-making was elite. Um, credit to Alabama. Give Nate and his kids a lot of credit for uh, the win. It's a huge play for their program, and, and uh, they deserved it. Their, their second-half performance was uh, outstanding. And uh, we just, for whatever reason, we had a hard time guarding them. You know, I need to do a better job of helping our players be better on that end. But uh, I'm so proud of my team. And especially these three guys, um, the ride we've been on the last couple of weeks has certainly been memorable, not just for all of us, but uh, our fan base, which is significant. But, but more than that, just for the kind of people that we have in our program, my players are just such good kids and they allow us to coach them and they represent our university in an unbelievable way. And, and uh, man, it's just a joy. And uh, I love all of them dearly. And... I'm just sad that we're not going to get to play more together because we've just had so much fun. And, and this is just such a fun, loving group that um, the hardest part about these losses is it's the end of a season. So, um, but a lot of great memories. Again, super proud of our guys, our team, and what they accomplished. And uh, again, congratulations to Alabama. 
All right, we'll open it up for questions first for the student athletes. Go ahead and raise your hand here in the room. We'll get a mic over to you. We'll start in the second row. Hey, this is Grayson Mann from TigerIllustrate.com. This is for Joe Gerard. Joe, when you look at this past year as one of the key transfers to come in, looking at how the state of college basketball is now with transfers coming in, what would be your pitch to anybody that's interested in coming to play for Clemson? <laughs> Do it. Um, I mean, this place has been unbelievable. <clears throat> And it all goes back to the culture, um, really. And, you know, that's what was attractive to me. Um, the people of Clemson are great. Um, I think I've, you know, said that, like, the first week I got there, I've, there was cookies at my apartment door from some random person that I still don't even know who it was to this day. Um, so Clemson is just an unbelievable place. There's unbelievable people. Um, they obviously develop their players, um, and they win a lot of basketball games. So anyone looking forward to living in a great place, playing with great people, uh, playing for great people, and doing great things should go to Clemson. We'll go next to the first row over here. Uh, John Blau with the Post and Courier. Uh, PJ, uh, how quickly can you put into perspective just the enormity of what you guys were able to accomplish or is it still kind of staying right now just because you're coming off a loss? Uh, yeah, so it, it still stings a lot right now. Probably will for a couple of days. Um, I don't think that, you know, it will really set in what, what we've accomplished because we had our eyes set on big goals. And obviously we've, we've achieved great stuff, but we – and we came up a little short of what we really wanted to do. But, you know, I think that it will set in whenever we get back and reflect a little bit and, you know, feel the love from the campus and the community to know that they had our backs through all of this. Um, it's an incredible ride. It was an expected ride. And uh, you know, I'm proud of these guys. We'll keep it in the front row right here. Uh, Darren Carter, Greenville News. Uh, for PJ and Chase, uh, just – uh, Coach Brownell just mentioned it was a member ride with you guys. Uh, just how much does this team mean to you both? Man. Uh, it means the world, man. You know, like Coach said, these guys, we're all loving. You know, we love each other. You know, we've been through a lot this year, a lot of ups and downs. You know, a lot of people doubting us. But, you know, it's just been about us. You know, we, we've been we've been just about us. And, um, you know, to end like this, you know, it definitely stings. But, um, you know, we accomplished a lot. You know, we did a lot of great things this year. And, um, you know, I'm definitely proud of our guys. And, um you know, you know, I love our guys and, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, with the nail on the head, I'd say that, you know, I mean, obviously, like, it stings to the core that we lost the basketball game, obviously. But on top of that, it hurts even more. Like Coach said, he's, you know, you're not going to be with the same team next year, um, especially for older guys like me and Chase and Joe. Um, I mean, it was – it's such a fun group, man, from top to bottom, from red shirts to fifth-year seniors. I mean, it was – Incredible group, and there's nothing I'd change about it. We'll stay in the front row. row right? uh, Facts and Children's 105.5 The Roar. PJ Chase, this is for both of you guys. Uh, can you talk a little bit about just the state of the program from when you guys came in to how you guys are potentially leaving it? I mean, Coach Brownell said a quote a couple weeks back about it's time to raise the ceiling now that we've raised the floor. I think it's safe to say that the ceiling has been raised with the second Elite Eight appearance in school history. Yeah, you know, when we came in, we were highly recruited guys, and, you know, our careers kind of started off kind of slow. But, um, you know, to get to this point, you know, me and him just had a moment in the locker room, and, you know, I told him we made history. And, um, you know, we did some big things for this program. You know, we're, I think that, you know, with me and him doing that, you know, we set this program to a new standard. And, um, you know, we plan on, you know, keep being in games like this. Yeah. Um, a special moment, man, embracing Chase in the locker room. And knowing, you know, a couple of tournament appearances, um, a lot of wins in the ACC and Elite Eight. Um, you know, it's a we stacked up a quiet resume that now is, has, uh, you know, has helped build the program up. And, you know, I, we can attribute that to the coaching staff and the culture they've built, man. I mean, it's uh, we came into a, a, a situation where it was a doubted culture, even though they had such a great thing building up. And to come in here and validate what they've done, validate the, the, the work they do is special. And, uh, yeah, it's amazing. We'll go next to the back row. Joe Reedy, Associated Press. For all three players, you guys had used defense as a strength to get to the Elite Eight. Just in the second half, what do you think Alabama was able to do offensively to, to where it was tough to get stops? Um, yeah, I mean, they hit big shots, man. Um, they really spread us out. They hit a couple corner threes, like three in a row. I mean, I know run. We hit two in a row. I mean, like if we can get a couple of those to bounce, a couple of those to bounce out, it's, it's a different ball game at that point. It's like I said, man. They hit big time shots, and it just we couldn't quite 
get the misses we need them to make. And credit to them, man. I mean, they and they went out there and they hit them. It was big time basketball. We'll stay in the back. Mark Myers, AP Radio for Joe. As uh, PJ was alluding to, three point shooting. They had sixteen to eight. The the the. the In the three-point shot, how much of a factor do you think that was in the outcome? Uh, I mean, it was huge. Uh, but, you know, I mean, we knew going into the game that's what they like to do. Um, and, you know, they they shoot them fast, especially when they're making them. You know, when they're making them and their momentum's going um, and they're rolling, um, they get those threes up fast and it seems like they'll never miss. Um, so, I mean, it's unfortunate how it ended, unfortunate how it went down. But, you got, like PJ said, you got to give those guys credit too. Um, they put the ball in the basket. Um, they get, you know, good positioning to get, you know, open shots. And uh, they just made some plays. Do we have any other questions for the student athletes? All right. We do have one on Zoom. We'll go to Dan. <laughs> Dan Tortora, wake up call, DT.com. This is for Joe. Joe, reflecting on your career, and I know you just spoke about it a little bit here, but having this extra season, this extra opportunity, you chose Clemson, and in the same respect, Clemson chose you. Just what you can say about what this entire journey has been to you and this home away from home that's been created in Clemson for you forever. I mean, <laughs> it's tough to talk about right now already. Um, you know, Coach Brownell didn't have to call me. These two guys didn't have to help recruit me, uh, but they did. And these guys are my brothers for life. Coach Parnell is like another father figure for life. And, you know, it's just another home away from home, like you said. And it sucks to talk about already that it's over. Um, you know, I just feel like I just got here. Um, but, you know, I'm going to talk to these guys for the rest of my life. I'm so proud of, you know, what they've become and what they've done. I've watched it, obviously, for four years now, playing against them and then being here. Um, so they've done an unbelievable job with this program. Obviously, Coach Parnell, you know, his, his stuff speaks for itself. Um, and I'm just lucky to, you know, I'm lucky to be here, lucky to have this as another home. And, you know, it's, it's, it was everything I could ask for and more. Final question for the student athletes. Anyone? All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, boys. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Bob. Yep. All right. We will open it up for questions for Coach Brownell. We'll begin in the front here. Uh, John Blau with the Post and Courier. Um, Brad, just how different was this game in terms of the shot making that they had and just playing from behind and just constantly them answering? Yeah, um, yeah two different halves. Uh, certainly, you know, the start of the game was our way. I, I told the guys before the game the last two days that if we're up 10, we're down 10, when you're playing Alabama, that's about five. It's not 10. Uh, you just cut whatever the lead is or whatever you're, you're up – Cut it in half. You're up 15, you're up 7. You're down 15, you're down 7. Because of the, the number of possessions they play with and the freedom with which they play, you know, we were actually down 7, I think, at their place in game one and turned and flipped it and went up 6 in like two and a half minutes um, at their place. So it's just – you just kind of have to know that going in, that you you got to keep trying to win the next possession. Again, the quality of play was unreal in the second half. It was what people want to see, 50 points for both teams. Um, but, I mean, 10 out of 15 threes by those guys, we had that happen to us at Miami, and, and uh, you're, you just can't win. You know, I told our guys when we won down there, the threes were 11 to 11. Um, 11 for them is normal. 11 for us is a lot. Um, we just needed it to be closer. Um, I'm disappointed in the rebounding because that was something I made a big point of. We, we fought back in the second half with that, but um, Pringle's rebounding was significant, the extra possessions there to keep him alive. Uh, and then Stevenson's shot making. I mean, he's he's going to be a great player. He is a good player. Um, but you don't count on a guy coming off the bench and making five threes who really hasn't done that yet this year. So they had some guys step up. Our kids played very well. We just couldn't quite get enough stops to win the game. So, um Again, give them credit. They they played terrific. We'll keep it in the front row over here. Right. Uh, Darian Carter, the Greenville News. Uh, Coach, you've been at Clemson for 14 years. Just putting, um, reflecting on this year's team, yeah. how special is this group to you? Yeah. 
Um, very special. Um, you know, again, the winning is part of it for sure. The ride that we've been on these last two weeks, phenomenal. Something we'll always remember. But um, just the kind of kids that they are, right? To be around them every day, the fun that we have, the way they allow us to coach them, the the connectedness, um, just the togetherness. You know, in this day and age, it's rare. Um, we've been fortunate these last two years back to back, and probably years other years as well but just these last two have been phenomenal runs in terms of you just you just feel it with your team and uh you know you want so badly for those guys to be successful and obviously I, we all wanted to make a final four um but you just want your guys to have success because you care about them and you watch them work so hard and we go through frustrations and ups and downs and basketball seasons are hard they're long you know there's always long weeks and a couple weeks that don't go well and our guys responded most of the time and, and obviously after the ACC tournament a lot of people doubted us but PJ said it you know we really talked at the beginning of the year a little bit and then in the middle of the year that we had that we believe we could be a final four team this was not an accident um, one of my assistants you know is trying to spout stats that we had the hardest run if you look at the net rankings we played the three toughest teams uh, in the net to get to this point so this wasn't an accident. Our guys played great basketball. Um, we just needed to do a little bit better today. We'll go next in the back. Joe Reedy, Associated Press. Yep. Yes, sir. Brad, you, PJ mentioned just how tough it is to defend when they quickly get three-point shots off like that. Just was there anything that you guys tried to do during the half to counter that or? Uh, run faster. Um, you know, it's crazy. I think it was the first or second possession we tried to play zone. We Joe hit a three, and they threw it up to court and shot a quick corner three before our guys could even get back. Um, you know, the the challenge for our team all year is we're not very fast. Um, we're big, we're physical, we're tough, we're smart, but we're not very fast. And there are times when that really was a problem for us. Uh, in the second half, it was a problem.